Ready? Are, are we good? Good. Oh, we're starting? Oh, it started, yeah. Welcome to the simulation, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Thunk Tank Simulation. On this episode... Put your strap on 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 and get ready to get thunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that's not confusing for an intro at all. Well, thanks for downloading our podcast. Uh, if you made it this far, you might be turning it off right now. But no, if not... give, us, give us like 30 seconds. We can pitch it. All right. So this episode, uh, we had a friend of the podcast on. He's a uh, uh, really smart dude who's like really into technology and programming. He's a big comp sci guy. Yeah. Programming um, guy. So all things technology. We figured we Audio. wanted somebody more in that in that uh, wheelhouse. Somebody to, like, who knows what the fuck he's actually talking. Yeah, about. Yeah, that's the nice way to say it. Yeah. Or the accurate way, I should say. I, I think it's fair to say it's nice and accurate. So right? we got into a few topics. Some of the times we were a little bit too, like we didn't define things, so... We'll try to do that in the description, include some maybe helpful yeah. links. Yeah, so we get into uh, a topic known as uh, the singularity. Yeah. With Which, it, it kind of means two things in technology. It can mean artificial intelligence. Takes over. Takes over, and like it starts to sort of improve on itself. Right. At it's, an it's exponential rate. Independent of sort of what whatever we've been up to. And Yeah, right. And changes to itself happen so rapidly that we can't even yeah. conceptually keep up. That makes sense. And and it, we obviously go into much more detail yeah. from there. It also, sure. Singularity also means just like the rate of technological change happening so fast that like society changes so... Yeah, you can't like measure how it's going to change yeah. at a certain and point. And that even includes like little <laughs> nanobot things interfacing with your brain to hook you up with the cloud, like crazy shit like that. Yeah. Like society won't know how to keep up with that. So that's what we mean when we talk about singularity. Um another theme that I when I was editing it, Joe, that I heard a lot was this concept of signal versus noise. Mm. which funny enough is exactly yeah. what you think about when you're recording right that right, hissing yeah. sound that you probably hear in the back of this shitty podcast yeah yeah <laughs> is noise right? right it's ground noise and then signal is the sound of our voice right but we were talking about just like all the data that exists out there even like this fake news phenomenon right right we and get into social the so media the social aspects of it yeah. too and Finding that, a signal from all that right. noise. How that's being used now and how that's going to be used moving forward. So it's a good metaphor in that sense to think about, like, finding a signal in the noise mm -hmm. and, like, what kind of antenna your brain is going to be to find that yeah. signal. Yeah, so it's not just... Uh, this episode is interesting because I, I think it's worth reiterating. It's not just about the science and the technology, but it's also about humanity's role within that and place within that now with what we deal with with social media and everything else going on but also speculatively moving forward like what the near future is going to be like eventually where we might end up so it gets it gets pretty deep but i think very interesting too yeah and it's not sure. it's definitely not the podcast while you're where you'll learn how computers work but you'll probably just be convinced that you should learn more about how computers work our guest knows how computers work yeah and so we don't no yeah but you know there's, we do a little bit more now? I, or, I, I think a little bit more. I know where to look a little bit more. Where to look for what? Information? Yeah. Wikipedia, apparently. <laughs> that was kind of his <laughs> that summary. That was kind of his summary. Yeah. I was like, Drew, where should where should Wikipedia. people uh, look for whatever? He's like, just go to Wikipedia. That's a good starting point. That's that's where I tell my students, I think I said on the episode, that's where I tell them to start with their research papers. Exactly, like, yeah. Don't cite it in the final product, but if you need to learn more in general... That's a great place. Yeah, see where it leads you. I would even there's good sources. Argue there. that you could probably potentially like if you went to college and just didn't really like listen and try hard versus like stay at home all day and, and only use Wikipedia, you could potentially be a smarter, more educated person. Well, one of our previous guests, Elon Musk himself, said that he's more interested in credentials than education. Level. Right. It was really great that Elon came on. It was fantastic. And by came on, I mean he. Um, we did an episode on him. Yeah, I was gonna. Make <laughs> but a Elon, if you're joke, listening, but... we would love to have you in studio. Yeah, anytime. Listen, we'll Elon, work around your schedule. Elon, we yeah. will have you on. Yeah, day or night. I will cancel anything to have you on. I, I will literally probably sacrifice my job to have Elon Musk come on our podcast. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anything else? Uh, if you want to support us, check us out on Patreon. There's a link yes. in the episode notes. Um, by this point, we'll probably have not only just one dollar an episode, but even less, like fifty cents per episode or yeah, something. The coin flip membership. Yeah. yeah. Just anything. It well, helps. You still us, get uh, bonuses, though. You do get bonuses, yeah. and th those bonuses will change. And they're probably going to yeah. get better as we think of more clever ways to reward Yeah, I've people. just been drinking and signing Luke up to do stuff. Exactly. Right now, so. I read in the previous episode, I read a beautiful 
poem in Turkish to say thank you. Flowingly, so it involved I would say. toilets and porcupines. There were porcupines mentioned, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Uh, I think that that about does it. If you've lasted this long, you're, yeah. you'll enjoy the rest of the episode, I promise. Buckle up, buttercup. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you on the other side of the Thanks simulation. Thanks for downloading. See you uh, on the other side of the simulation. You just said that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stop being such a, a hack simulant, Luke. <laughs> Come on. They be, told me to say that. Be an individual, which you can do if you learn how to by listening to the rest of this episode. Simulate a donation to us on Patreon. Please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm... <laughs> All right. Attention, humans. This is a thunk tank. Please insert this podcast directly into your nearest orifice for viewing pleasure. Okay, you ready? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the thunk tank. <laughs> Welcome to the thunk tank. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. There you go. Welcome. To, come into our. Come into our thunk tank. <laughs> Luke, don't switch to the other peanuts. <laughs> Welcome to the thunk tank. Come in the tank. We're thinking and we're thinking <laughs> and we're thunked. And we're thunked. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm probably more beer than man if we go far enough back at this point. Recording already, and now I'm recording, so technically recording. it's it's going. Well, we our welcome is... to the Thunk Tank, Thunky Thunk yeah. Rooster. Yeah, we don't know how to actually start episodes even still. I do. Hey Drew, are we in a simulation? Uh, no, no. The question is, how deep in the simulation are we? Yeah, what level simulation exactly. are we? Yeah. Well, we're going deep from the start. Wow. Yeah, how many turtles backs are we on? Like that was just like, a, like a that was a overflow. that was a trick opening, but hopefully we can answer that question by the end, Drew. <laughs> this is why we have you here. Yeah. Answer it. Our very special guest. Answer it now. <laughs> no, I mean like I hope no, it's I not answerable cuz then that like makes it a more fun experience to live, right? Like no, don't don't tell the solution. listeners that now though. They're supposed to be like, "All right, we're going to learn whether No one knows." <laughs> and it's also like should that affect your decision making? Well, the simulation could have started the moment they started playing this episode, and everything else was just implanted memories before that. They yeah, don't know. So They're simulants. Every time I've thought about the simulation question, I end up with the same conclusion. Eh, so what? Who cares? Yeah, like, it's yeah. not going to change how you can do anything. Yeah. Like, your abilities don't change or do I they. think I would take more risks if I knew it was a simulation. <laughs> I would just, Johnny would just go I think I'd be much more reckless, yeah. <laughs> In what way? Like, on a day-to-day -day basis? I don't know, gamble, get in the fights. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, just, I don't know, take bigger risks. Like, maybe yeah, but sell why? a bunch What's of drugs, get money, turn, go like take the Jay-Z route if I could, then turn legitimate. Sell a be bunch of drugs. You know, become a power player. <laughs> but like, yeah, if, if this but is my Johnny, only in one in the simulation, it, there's still simulation jail. You still go to jail when you commit crimes. Yeah, yeah but whatever. In, and then I get the shanked and die there. in jail. I get to try again. But if it's just I die, that's my story, then I don't want to do that. No, but what if death is part of the simulation? Anyways, <laughs> we're going to get into this, maybe. But, Let's do a little um, introductions here. I think simulation is is one angle, but just generally technology, um, artificial intelligence, I wanted to pick your brain about, Drew. Um, you know the Ar Arthur C. Clarke quote, all sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic? Uh, yeah, I have heard that I one. I thought it was it's Now, I think it's just a, f a funny quote. It's not, like, real. Like, it, it means it appears to be indistinguishable from magic but obviously well, it's not is, what, magic what is magic uh yeah like something you can't explain <laughs> yeah that yeah sort right. of manifests in a way you can observe right. so like well i don't know how that happened but it just did i i definitely can tell does that you mean, know does that this, mean... this this electronic device like yeah. connected me to someone who's not in this but room. that doesn't mean that it can't like, not that's that, magic that doesn't mean that it can't still use science it just means that you don't understand it right so what well, you're 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 using a cell phone, let's say, in the year 1500. It's more magic yeah. than in the year 2018, well, it simply be because we expect it. Like <laughs> we, we're there's used no, to it. So there's part no satellite. Of that, part of that is the, the networks. Yeah. They <laughs> just say no signal, and you'd be trying to show it and off in the like, town square. They'd be like, "Can, can you, you hear just me now?" Him? And they're like, <laughs> "They're like, what kind no. of English is that?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Do you have you ever read a Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court? No, but I've seen the like three movies based on. Oh really? Them, like, I think Ralph Macchio was uh, in the eighties, right? That what, was the best. Really? Like, Kid in King Arthur's Court. Yeah. Oh, Black Knight. Black Knight. Yeah, the, uh, yeah. Martin Lawrence. Yeah, that Martin was probably Lawrence. the best yeah. version. Yeah. Exactly. That was a really good one. And I'm sure. Plenty but that. Of but that's like that's basically the shows. premise is that he just goes back into the King Arthur days and he's able to be like, yeah, this is I'm, I'm Merlin's a, a hoax. He's a fraud. Yeah. Like, he just look, has an iPhone. <laughs> yeah. He just he just basically <laughs> brings the 19th century version of iPhones, which is telegraphs. Yeah, I think what's funny about that is that the gap. The, the time period that you would need to go back in order to give that same, like, novelty factor to the people yeah. of the past keeps shrinking. Yeah, like, that's and true, even, right? even, like, the pervasiveness of certain technology, it just happens way quicker. Things saturate really quickly. Right, yeah. Culturally now. It's well, not so just I wouldn't be surprised right. if, if you tell me, yeah, in the year 2050, like, we have neural implants that, that connect our our brain directly to the cloud. I'd be like... Damn, like we or, really or, did well, but I wouldn't cloud. be shocked. Like, yeah, what, just if, what if we're renting our brains out because yeah. we're like, I'm just watching TV. If you want to mine Bitcoin while I'm <laughs> right. staring at this box, I right? See, so I, you're like, hey, I'm just gonna read Harry Potter for enjoyment. Yeah. Like you can use the other part of my brain it to mine Bitcoin. It sounds impossible, but it's because we don't know the steps in between now and then. The other yeah. innovations. Apparently, that Ray lead, Kurzweil either. does. A lot of what do you think of him? I I think he's a cool guy. He uh, made an accessibility device, one of his claims to fame. He made a synthesizer when that was the cool thing to do. I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. What's an accessibility device? Uh, so differently abled users. However, oh, okay. That's my perspective on it. Yeah. You, know, you don't have a... Uh, I think what he did was the, one of the first speech synthesis, like read a book and like read it out loud. Sure, like have yeah. a machine scan a book and read it. I'm such a child. My first thought was like, oh, robot legs, right? It's like no something much more practical. I mean, yeah, but he, he's more involved in like the programming cleverness of it, right? Like he, no, it's I mean, not I like he's inventing like an robot arms. Product of, you know, conceiving this this chain of events where like a right. machine is going to look at this thing. You know, how does a machine have eyes? Like there are all these like biological. Right, like even getting analogies. a machine to recognize a dog is really hard, right? Yeah, that that one's interesting because there's so many different types of dogs. It's probably like which is which is harder. <laughs> Like yeah. recognizing the letters on a page in one language in multiple languages, or having an idea of the Platonic ideal of a dog. <laughs> right. I, I think yeah. I can um, instantly Ray tell Kurzweil... a dog from a guy dressed as a dog like that. Instantly, no matter yeah, but how well. What if you're, what if you're on acid, yeah, Johnny? Right. Then it's not as easy. And I bet yeah. being a robot right now though. is like being a human on acid or something like it. Or, or being on a human on way too much acid. Yeah, I don't know. It's. My 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 uh, Ray Kurzweil has a TED talk where he talks about the sort of layers to consciousness. How you have like you can think of like circuitry of of neurons as like modules that give mm -hmm. a a not just a yes or no answer, but a threshold kind of thing. Yeah, kind of like population encoding of yeah. information. Like, so hey, you're not those... saying like a yes or a no. You're like. 90% sure. Exactly, that, yeah. So more oh. Because you have, probably like... Probably higher that, like, the sun's going to rise They're more tomorrow. like early... Like, there's something instinctual. Sorry, they're more like early but, hominids, right? Like, they're just humans that, like, I kind of get I should do this stuff, but maybe not at the level we are now. Like, ah, making a spear is a good idea. Well, but, so... I meant even simpler, like, just recognizing shapes and seeing, like, okay, like, when you see this kind of shape, your brain automatically puts a face on it, right? Because we're, like, yeah. very, very wired to detect there, faces. There is some, like like uh, earlier evolved features of perception, sensation and perception. That's like the, mm -hmm. the, the pipeline you need to get through. Like first you need to be able to like make some, some internal model from the outside stimuli. So, I mean, this works on the brain side, this works on the, the computer side. Like how do you get a robot to do something like this? Uh, and yeah, like- Give it a earlier... glass of milk? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's a moose and muffin. <laughs> I don't know the Amazing robot equivalent. The way the brain works. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. That's why it's so hard to develop a robot. Yeah. That can Good luck making shit. that joke, robot. Yeah. You robo bastards. <laughs> Our jobs are safe. <laughs> <laughs> well, as if we're. I was gonna say, yeah, the, yeah, these jobs of ours, you know. I know, but as as more things do get automated, I think freeing up time for sort of. Mm. Just discussion. Do you think that'll be good for, for people? Like, I think a lot of people, more free time would be good, but for some people, they might just go crazy. Like, they need a structure, you I know? I think there needs to be some structure. But they can um, channel it some into whatever, right? Some motivations incentives right? and disincentives. Yeah. If, the things, if the things that you want to do that could engage you and are rewarding don't cost money you don't have, 
then free time would be good. You know, if you were able to, like, go get an instrument and play it because you have more free then time. Then it's genuinely free time, yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, right. I don't want to bring it into economics too much, but if you don't have to work... That's great. And it's the Star Trek then, dream, right? Isn't that the whole point yeah, of exactly. putting up with all this yeah. technology is to get there? Everything. I mean, for me, I, 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 I fantasize about that sometimes, but then I also realize, like, you need – you would have to have a project to work on if you're doing nothing, right? But a project is different from going into a job every day that you might hate or just feel That's nothing about, right? definitely true. So I, I think one interesting thing about technology is whereas – that future may not have been possible except for some grand unifying like sh- cultural shift where like okay yeah, it's far we're gonna far, make everybody not hungry we're gonna make everyone you know uh have some sort of security in their life and you can just do whatever you want to do it's like no that's not all happening at once but the right. tools for people to find their own paths to like self-sustainability or you know cultural enrichment or, or to just like understand themselves like figure their their mind out you know or you know have any, that time. any other part like being an athlete today is way different because of the science around it and the tools around being an athlete like they make those like the olympics are going on right now i'm sure mm-hmm. you talk I'm, about the I'm king sh- arthur's court thing like if you showed the olympic athletes of maybe like four olympics oh, ago yeah. what they're using now they'd be like this is cheating like <laughs> right yeah they'd be like that's sci-fi technology right it's like well you know you had a better outfit than the guy yeah. before you yeah, like that material is not existent <laughs> those ski poles right they have like bend like four or five times and it like gives you maximum ski control it's crazy that yeah they used to really just weird yeah. they used to just be a stick yeah it's like yeah those curves were like carefully engineered and all that i got a strong stick from people my daddy. are complaining about the uh what is it curling or they have these like oh i saw it's nano a, materials or another i don't know if it's nano scale, another but. podcast actually tweeted about something about like hybrids and like curling earlier and i think it was something to do with i that? don't know maybe <laughs> they're, they're engineering a surface that they seem to have beef gives with what novices going on. an advantage to kind of get expert level control over right as opposed to the experts who are actually experts. or whatever it's called yeah. With Fair enough. Sticks and I mean, if you change a rule to something, you could say from one angle, like, well, if everybody gets access to the new improved thing, then it's fair, right? But then it's like, well, if it's taking away from, like, the p- part of the game that's fun, right? But when you're talking about life, it's like, it's not a, well, it's kind of like a game sometimes. Certainly the parties who are involved with, like, distributing that new tool they probably see it like a game some ways. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, they would just... I think you eligible... have to, especially if you're working that hard at it, right? <laughs> Yeah, if you're trying to make money off of it, and that's yeah. so like that's, that's one of the things I always worry about, like technology and moving into the future, is like it's it's shitty, corrupt humans that are are like half driven by the curiosity and like pushing technology forward, half driven by yeah, it's profit not, it's not and like wanting drive. to make money and yeah. be rich, probably to be rich just to have a big house so they can fucking relax and not work their job, right? <laughs> yeah, it's <a laughs> but that's the thing. Like the but so many of these people, like these like people who are doing all of this stuff. Don't they just work? Like, isn't that what a lot of these people do? I'm pretty do? sure they just constantly work. Like, Elon yeah. Musk is probably, like, eating dinner for an hour a day, but he's mostly probably, like, thinking hard and working. I can barely find a yeah. clean no, pair there's of a... pants in the morning, and he owns, like, six companies, half of which are going to Mars probably. There's a lot of rich people being fed, like, strawberries at swimming pools somewhere, drinking champagne. They just aren't well, building rockets that can land so you don't hear about them. They're more low-key with their resources. Yeah, it's funny. So the, the inequality has scaled up, right? And the gap has yeah, widened. Sure. But the bottom is still being lifted up, right? Of course. That's for why now. it's better now for more people than it's ever been on planet Earth, right. despite all the inequality. Right. So how do you how do you either like squash down that top, which people don't like that idea, because who's going to enforce? And how much? Rich, and rich. and yeah. where's that or level? Or you bring up the bottom, which I think is... Uh, more ambitious but is sort of the right path to choose and i think technology helps that in a lot of ways in a lot of ways empowering people well for example homeless people often have iphones and that's an amazing tool to have in your pocket when you're you know let's say homeless and trying to figure out the next step it's easier to have an iphone than a home that's what i mean and and i i see a lot of homeless people who have smartphones and it's like well you have the ability to get out of that hole of being homeless easier when you have an iPhone, then like if you were in the '90s and you just had newspapers to figure out what the fuck was going on, build you know? a home with. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. It's not funny, Joe. <laughs> the '90s were tough times. <laughs> no, they were these, awesome. These are still tough times, Joe. But there are no more newspapers. So. There's still newspapers. So, in so I have. I'm, I'm always. I got a question for oh, Drew. Go ahead, Johnny. 
Uh, like, like, every, all, like, we are getting wired with all this technology. Like, we're building an infrastructure. There's microphones in every room you go into with people now. Every room is mic'd because <laughs> of smartphones. Like, homeless people That's have true, microphones. Yeah. Like you were saying, you, you know, you go to, uh, you know, villages the in the third world or some alleyway <laughs> in the first world. Like, there's microphones everywhere. And I'm not saying anyone's li- – they're not – you know, they're listening to all of us, man. But they, oh, they can. Like, the hardware is there. <laughs> When when do do we get to that point that humans start being like oh we can use this and like is, what do we do what do we do Drew? Well, do you watch Black Freaking Mirror at out. all, Johnny? I like, can't. That, that show freaks me out too much. I get ten minutes in so and I gotta do you watch close it at the all, blinds. Drew? I do. I really like their focus on psychology and and like uh, this and the area mind. of science fiction yeah. of like neurotech. You're right. Seems to be so the latest thread. season was almost entirely about um, technologies that people didn't really think all the way through. <laughs> and then became like the nightmare scenario. Well, that's like, Elon Musk's whole thing is you, we better be proactive about yeah. this shit, right? For AI, yeah. yeah. But I'm I mean, talking even just like basic technology, yeah. like the you know these chips that you put into your kid's head where you can see everything they see and like control. You can filter well, out harsh yeah, things. Spoiler from... alert, you know. It's, it's good, well, good I'm, I could be referencing any episode, you know. That's I wasn't true. planning on watching it anyway. But they all have this similar theme of like out. a technology seems to imply like it will solve a problem and it actually causes ten more problems that were not foreseen, you know. Or what I think is sort of uh, one of the episodes in particular had this feeling that it feels closer to life of we're like less than halfway to where we want to be, but we want to try this half less than halfway solution out. Right. It's like we got we got to run this. Wait, like, yeah. we we tested on the chimpanzees enough, and now it's yeah. time to we like be Rolo Haynes yeah, yeah. and be all like sketchy, but, like the hospital yeah. worker guy. Yeah. yeah. Um, it is Johnny. I understand. Like I I showed one of those episodes to uh, Yanka a couple days ago, and she just like was tired. Yeah. But then by the end of it, she was just like sitting up in bed, like no, 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 no. That should this have ruined your day. Yeah. I, I was binging it, so I was like, oh, this is. You you numb to it a little bit when yeah. you binge it. Yeah. You get three in, and you're like. All right, you're fine. Go. I'll check it out. So they were all about like this utopian visions becoming dystopias, and like the technology was part of the driving force that, there. I feel like that's a healthy do, exercise do you know how... to keep in mind is pers- yeah perspective. Humans, Definitely. Right? Do you know how they can't got the name Black Mirror? No, I don't think it's so. It's a reference to when you your phone you look at your phone and the screen's off, you can see yourself. It's reflective. It's a black mirror, oh, which you normally think of shit. mirrors as light, they got us and good. that's a dark that is mirror. Heavy. And I'm already so you, depressed. Uh, yeah, you, you like you look you stare yeah, like at one. Next time you, stare you want to open every your phone day. and go on Facebook, yeah. just look at yourself. You stare at it mirror. every day, and you didn't even realize <laughs> that's what they named it after. Just look at the sad reflection of your own yeah. face in your own oh, phone. I need a second, second I don't phone think to I'm take ready my new profile. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. going to be the new thing. Keep your old phones and take pictures of yourself. Like, And then it just bounces off each other, the image, till you explode. Yeah. And the simulation ends. <laughs> yeah, just runs dry. Uh, yeah that, that show, I think... Uh, yeah. So I, I remember hearing an interview with... I think the guy's name is Tristan Harris. He's like an ethicist at Google. And he was just talking about, like, yeah, like... You know, there there is, we don't really hear about them, but there is um, a profession of people where their job is to just, like, think about where is technology going and what ethical problems would arise or are arising because of it. Well, when I you mean, say profession... Including people... robot rights. Like, there are people who have, like, robot ethics <sighs> where they study, yeah. like, how how would we know when the but lights who, who come on people? for a robot? They're like, university people, or they work for... Um, yeah, they're, they're one... Academics, they're... Yeah. Tristan Harris works for Google, I think. Or he, I mean, oh, he used to work for Google, Google. Or, like, is that or something just... like that? Yeah, that was his job. He was, yeah. like, called some kind of so so like google as a company is cognizant of like we should be looking into like thinking about this i'd or say like so there companies. are a lot of companies yeah that size that are just like we have smart people working on them, right yeah you know optimizing our business model but you yeah. know what they might as well be looking at these other things it's yeah. good work to... on this as a project right right like beyond yeah. the bottom line there's a right. lot of what's scary is <laughs> there's a lot more power wielded with that technology in the corporate world right than necessarily like the government the government is not good at wielding that sort of technology i'm not anti-government but i just wish there was like more of a techno utopia where it's like guess what all these, but no, all no. these hard problems are easy problems that's now. what i hate about right. that though is like that any any of those like techno utopia things black mirror was about like yeah but they would fuck up yeah they would you know because everybody would fuck up like you just have to tread really carefully this oh, other yeah, girl incremental change i think is the natural way of things and also Ideally. 
uh, yeah, and also don't apply some big technology across the board. Like, there, there is right, a yeah. market of ideas. There's, like, right. people test stuff out, and they're like, you know what, I am comfortable with less privacy. And it's like, okay, that's the new cultural norm. Like, <laughs> right, right. Now, you know, I think we're already getting <laughs> out of that, 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 like, our parents' generation, let's say if you're in your 60s or 70s right now, comes from a place where, like, the idea of, like, putting the amount of privacy we give up online right would be crazy you know you pay your bills online I, like i mail mine so they, i know nobody can they open gave it up and all joined facebook they were like yeah fuck it yeah but yeah. they broke down after that was so weird, I, them, I, think. I, yeah. I freak out and pay, take weird stances with privacy one specific time Do you? It happened at the hardware store the other day <laughs> oh god we've been waiting for the I, story i went now to harbor freight episode. which if anyone knows they're like really cheap tools because they're really shitty quality like if you need a tool that you have to use once and then it'll break. It's a straightforward model. That's yeah, what the is place it, like to back, go. Backwoods Home Depot? Pretty much. But like if you need to buy like a really big drill or a big tool, it's like I'm not going to spend 600 yeah. bucks on it. I'll spend 50 and it'll work once or twice and that's fine because this is the only time I need it. So whatever. It's it's it'll get Some things are okay. But, so I got a drill <laughs> right. there we'll get a for my done. grain mill and it sucked. So I had to return it and get another drill. I had I, I asked the guy when I bought it. I said, "Can I return? How, like, what's your return policy?" He said, "Within 90 days, just as long as you have your receipt." I was like, "I don't have to like be a member of your store." He's like, "No, just bring your receipt." I said, "Okay." So it sucked. I came back like a week later to return it, and the lady's like, "Oh, what's your phone number?" And it starts ringing it up, and I'm like, "No, no, I just walked in with this." And she's like, "Oh, you did?" I was like, "Yeah." And the lady's like, "Yeah, he did." It's like she wasn't paying attention, so I was already annoyed. And then. Uh, it's like, yo, I'm talking to yeah. you. Look and at she's me. like, what's your phone number? I'm like, excuse me? She goes, what's your phone number? I was like, I, that's not, I'm here to return this. So you don't need my phone number. I'm like, what? Like, it's just a weird way to start a conversation. I know it's part how they start their transactions. But just like yeah. someone walks into your store and you just demand their phone number, I was like, no. It needs to be in the system. Yeah, and so like, I, I was I, like – I protect my phone number. That's a little bit of a private F-U-C-K. thing. So how I, about I that? I said, I want to return this drill. I have the receipt. She goes, well, I need your phone number. I need to pull up your account. I was like, oh, I, I don't, I'm not part of your rewards thing. I don't do those because I don't. And I'll go into that another time. Uh, but and she's like, well, <laughs> she's like, well no. he's a beer away. <laughs> she's like, we got to add you to the system or we can't process it. And I was like, what? no, the guy said, she's like, no, we got to do it. And like the manager came out and was like, yeah, we need to process you. I was like, can you just put in this address and like ma- put the store number? And like, no, she's like, I'm gonna need to see your ID. So I make she's like she didn't be- she knew I was gonna give fake info. So she's like, I need to see your ID to make sure it's your actual address. And I was like, why do you need to know where I and live? And you probably woke up that morning yeah. and you knew that if you go into a simple battle today, you're not backing down. <laughs> I just I, – it was a long day and I definitely overreacted. But I was like, I have the receipt. Like I bought it here like with right. my credit card yeah. that I'm holding. You can – Oh no, I paid cash because I didn't. Want, no, I, it was my credit card. Oh, I was like, I'm holding cash. my credit card. Wait, you didn't card want to leave here. a paper that trail. That was his first mistake. No, no, I did. You didn't want to leave a paper trail for the drill you bought. <laughs> Why didn't you just show them the chip in your palm, Johnny, while you were no, at it's it? Just, you you know, fucking sometimes idiot. I have cash. Whatever. Fuck you. You don't have Apple See, Brain installed in I mean, yourself so yet, Johnny. It, it, it's funny when there are these like thresholds that you need to, the hurdles that you have to jump over to like, yeah. Yeah. What if you don't have a cell phone? Why didn't you just say you don't have a phone? I was like, used to be simple. That is the minimum that you need. You need the object you're returning, the receipt. Yeah. You don't need to know where I live. The proof that you got it there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, But now it's like, oh, you need to jump through this hoop. Mm. My, my least favorite thing is when you're like, okay, I'm giving into the fact that like this constellation of data I'm giving you is going to help me in the end somehow. Right. Yeah. So you call up an automated number and they're like, enter in some 10 digit thing that you are not sure you entered in correctly. <laughs> and okay, no, now we're going to connect to the thing that's busy. We're going to like forward you to the next one. You're like, this is all automated, like kicking me around. And then they ask you the same questions that the automated system asks you. I'm like, yeah, it's Why like what was I the point of that? that? It was, it was. I, I know it. Spent money on that. I know Who what do it I is. I yell though? at at that point. I bet nobody. It's all robots. I bet it's Put instead me on of the yelling line. <laughs> it's instead of playing music and putting you on hold. You yeah, know, right. it's yeah. like putting you through a little maze to keep it you really occupied. Is. Like and to just gather data. You're in a queue of one. Yeah, there is the something to the occupied. Yeah. <laughs> The occupied time. So wait, theory. Johnny, did you end up being able to return that drill? No, I, I yelled. I said, why do you need my address for me to return something I bought here? You didn't come to my house to sell it. And then the manager <laughs> was just like, there's no other way we can do this. And I was like, this is fucking bullshit. And I stormed out of there with the shitty drill I'm still stuck with. Because I refused to give it because they're going to – I've had to change phone numbers and stuff. You get spam emails and fucking phone calls and texts. But why didn't you just make up and, fake information? Because that's fraud too. You can get in trouble for that. Like, I, I, I How just are you going to get in trouble? 
there, you, there's nothing le- you, there's nothing legally that's that true. says you, you have sign to up for those loyalty things if you lie like technically you know it's I signed into the gym as Mickey Mouse as Joe's guest yeah I and if you get actually, hurt I wrote Mr. if you Mouse. get hurt in that <laughs> gym now because of their negligence you'll have trouble suing them because you lied about who you were I could change my name to <laughs> Mouse <laughs> Lucas Mouse nice to meet you. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, it's just it, sometimes I just get weird about it because there's so much of your information that's out there that I just freak out and I make these weird little stands that I, afterwards I immediately regret like that one. No, I get that. Yeah. I just think you should have given them phony information. Yeah, I probably I should. do it all the time. I, I, I should have given them your really address. Problem? Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, who, who, who cares, honestly? It's also something we could just be – I'll be more educated on. Like, like yeah, nobody – In general, really Drew, I know you were maybe um, mentioning, talking about, like, how – like technology is increasing way past people's understanding of how technology works. Magic. And baby. that leaves all these loopholes for like fucked up things to happen when, you know, right now they ask you for a credit card number and a billing address, whatever the fuck you're, you give. You're now being programmed as a user of that like system. You're like, Oh, I have, these are the required fields. I can't go through this process. Until yeah. Yeah. I comply with somebody else's, and design. you just end up getting lazy but, and just yeah. do it, right? It's, it's up, easier to just conform. It's easier to conform than to understand and like the the world seems uh, or seemed for a very long time uh, not accessible, not mutable to many people. And as less of yeah. the world is physical, <laughs> as crazy as it sounds, yeah, sure, more of it is mutable. I don't know if us chimpanzee humans should really be like able to create virtual realities that don't matter. Like if we go into them knowing they don't matter. What do you mean? Like, if you knew you could, this is a Black Mirror episode, spoiler alert for episode one. If you, <laughs> Joe, if you knew you could Season come one. home from work, like, you still had to go teach and, like, make money. Yeah. But you came home and you plugged in the USB drive into your fucking ear or something. Right. And now you're in Joe virtual reality land where you make all the rules, you're a god. You know, yeah. like, I don't think that that'd would be, be awesome. a good thing. No, that would be great. I basically do that with the video games I play already. Yeah. They might as well be cool. You don't basically don't, do that. Know. Have you played Universe Sandbox? <laughs> yeah, you have, and it's awesome. We're, we're transitioning into a time <laughs> where this is possible. Yeah. But imagine we fast forward, and it's like part of growing up is like your parents are supervising you in VR, and they're like, hey, guess what? That's not you, far off. Yeah, time you, for karate lessons. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, my friend's kids have <laughs> iPads. I've still never used an Drop iPad. Of the VR like, that, that's, how, <laughs> that's how much the generation gap is different. Like, seriously, I've never used an iPad. Me neither. I've never had the context or yeah. money to use one, but I have friends, like, their kids all have two, three years old, they all have iPads. Yeah. I was explaining to a 10-year-old kid the other day when how the first Game Boys were green and black, and when the Game Boy mm-hmm. Color came out, it was revolutionary, and he did not give a fuck at all. And his <laughs> his mom was, like, around my age, original, and was right like, there, it's so you. weird. It's that weird I shrinking mean, like, of, of the window, like cool. Drew was it talking green about. And black. What's weird is, we is, is, are we going to get to a point where, that, like you were saying, like, to go back far enough that, they, you know, you're a future man, keep shrinking. Can, can yeah, it get to like the point where it's happening faster? Totally well, don't you get to the singularity? Yeah, just it's going to start point? happening so faster. Do you want to mention can. the singularity? Yeah, I want, I want Drew's take on the singularity. I because think, I think that's where the singularity Maybe say what, say what it is. Like, yeah, I'm, I'll yeah. start with my uh, interpretation of what people talk about. It's like formally a book. And, like, the singularity is near the Kurzweil. Yeah, Ray thing. Kurzweil is this guy we mentioned earlier. He wrote a book called The Singularity is Near. He also and made a keyboard. I'll he... re-mention. <laughs> <laughs> he also has weirdly specific years and, like, really? time periods because he calculates through these, like, m- math ideas of, like, um, technology and yeah. whatever measurement he's using doubles every whatever year. And, yeah. and Moore's Law is one thing you can Moore's Law is part of that. There's also right. just, like, that inventing new ways to use technology that already exists you know but but here's the thing is like uh when we get to that point where tomorrow is inconceivable from today's perspective right because things aren't changing that much that's what they are calling this inflection point the singularity where it's like kind of like an event horizon for like cultural of technology of like society it's like yeah. well there's these things are so right. intertangled and is that don't... what terence mckenna calls peak novelty He's like, you'll get to a point where things are always changing at this 
ever accelerating pace that like change itself becomes constant and you're just like I've, i'm at peak novelty it's like, like absolutely nothing needs it, anything like, doesn't, right? you can't measure it anymore yeah. well, news like, news becomes useless it's all all noise and no signal yeah which yeah kind of feels like right i now. love that <laughs> saying by the way i use it as a metaphor yeah. for other areas you know like noise signal yeah i think it's very important because when you ask yourself what is the signal it's very subjective can't stop right? the signal you, it definitely you can, is. You can with noise. You can <laughs> bring the noise score up, and you're like, where'd that signal go? But is that the singularity? Like, uh, No, I mean, so singularity, f- again, is this black box, conceptually, right. that we don't know what's on the inside, and we're like, on but generally, this track is it towards that, it. Is it that um, like asymptote of the exponential graph kind of thing? Like, we're, do they just... What are we graphing, you know? Like, yeah, okay, fair enough. There's a lot of stuff going on. But that's so, why there's arguments as to, like, oh, the year where we reach a singularity, like, at that point, right? Because there's different I, ways to Or if it's that. a point, like it could just be an unknown Right. I, I think it's place. less of a point uh, when it's happening. <laughs> because well, it, it, it'll it be like be a whole period like... of time when things are changing more rapidly. Uh, it sounds a little is, like Big Bangy not... or something. Like... Yeah. yeah. He said again, black it's... holes before. I was thinking this sounds event horizon-y. Yeah. Like, like it's mathematically a place. Do we know what happens on the other side of, it... of the event horizon? No. Yeah, Matthew McConaughey is behind a bookshelf. <laughs> Love is powerful. Spoiler alert, Luke. You're just terrible. That movie, like... That's the, like the I was going to say, I still haven't seen that movie, and now I really want to, even if that's How many spoiler. spoilers can I accidentally give up today? A You're lot. killing it so far. I'm very impressed. All of them. Yeah. I mean, I use that analogy because you can't see into the future, right? You also can't see past the, the event horizon. But maybe there's something on the other side. Maybe there isn't. Yeah. But we have no way of telling if like, life is going to be the same or not. If, or perception is going to be the same, trends, right? stay the way they are i mean the perception thing is already changing like i bet yeah. those kids who are growing up with ipads their sight is developing differently maybe yeah. they'll be something with light sensitivity because they're staring at screens like we have just well, like i've heard, our, heard our like problems a, yeah like like <laughs> because see, of the rise of computers. like developing like perspective of 3d objects and i guess until maybe vr takes off is becoming an issue because it's all on right that's now still a flat surface though right but I mean, it's still di- like they're st- they're still staring at screens as opposed yeah. to like maybe you know, they'll get used to flicker. There's something like to that because yeah, right? kids when they still have like the drunk kid hands, you know, when they like lunge at you. <laughs> if you give that kid a tablet and they've been playing with it for long enough, they like they swipe and stuff. They do like the like they can navigate that screen in a creepy, creepily efficient way. Um, yep, and uh, even like young kids, I've seen young kids go to physical photographs and do the pinch to zoom yep. motion. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yo, that freaks me out. So, your brain learned this before it learned the difference between a picture, photograph, and a touchscreen, like yeah. iPad. You but know? doesn't that... forget language. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but doesn't that just mean that you're, you're behind the curve, Luke? Like, you're obsolete well, now. Well, I, I was I was, I was teaching the other day, and, and like, for some reason, that, that we were talking about, like, technology, because I was like, man, you're in fourth grade, and you have, like, an iPhone 7? Like, it's crazy. Wow. And uh, I, I was like... There's a newer one. <laughs> I felt like the old yeah, guy. Yeah, Galaxy you know, 5 still. <laughs> what I said to him was, I got um, four. do you know when I got my first cell phone, young nice. one? You know? I didn't talk like that. I no, you did, probably your did. Your internal monologue was like that. a cell phone to what this person Exactly. Was it, was a, it was a... My students in their computer lab sometimes don't know how to turn on the computers because they've never seen a desktop. So, you know, power and internet is just taking care of me, for, right? So they like become, they become the new there. grandmas. It's a given to them. That, that gets back to our thing about like taking a cell phone into the past, right? Like yeah, there and the magic of technology too. Yeah. There's power in knowledge, right? We've all seen those PSAs. Oh, they're they're powerful, yeah. Yeah, it stuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> and and I think that it's uh, so literally true though. Like it really it, is, especially if you have VR, because then you know how to make things yeah, appear. Right. But I mean. Which is now you're just a wizard, but not breaking the laws of physics. But I think that helps inspire people to mm. understand, like, oh, things are, again, like, changeable. Like, I have power as long as I know I have power. If I start with the assumption that I can change something in the world that I live in. Uh, so, yeah, like, if you lost Wi-Fi, if we all lost Wi-Fi, <gasps> like, how... Don't, don't say that. <laughs> I, I know, but, like, how catastrophic would that be? That. That's like not as uh, destructive so you, as a meteor, but like let's, yeah. let's the give economy a, would take a huge hit. A real world example would be a a cosmic burst comes from the sun, sure, a solar storm. Yeah. yeah. You know they give these like these sunspots have these little solar flares that burst, and um, the last one that happened I think was in the 1800s, late 1800s, and all the 
electrical, anything that existed was fried. So even like telegraphs and shit? <laughs> Everything, yeah. Yeah. And that wasn't a, a giant deal back in the late 1800s as much as it would be now if all satellites, all ele- not not just like the internet and like phone lines, but like electrical wires on the road and below, like they're all fucked. What about like geopolitically? Like, would someone think, oh, this is this is an attack? How yeah, would that be a yeah, how would yeah, that like, But you don't even need it to be that bad. What if Russia hacks our power grids and? overloads our, uh, you know, surges our grids and opens all the water mains so we don't have pressurized water to put out fires. Like, it would take weeks to get all the power back on and Wi-Fi. And, like, just that localized disaster. <laughs> what? What's wrong with Russia? Why are they attacking? Oh, they're working on that. That's part of their, their operations. They just, they, yeah. Unfortunately, I'm sure everyone has to work on they things like that. And cyber army, is the new way can't... to have war, probably, right? I know, yes. probably like the behind-the-scenes plans that countries develop. I mean, we were talking about that that episode with the fucking uh, Russian salt nuke submarine. Yeah. You know, salt so it's the like Earth after it nukes you. Like the physical stuff they have is crazy. So I'm right. sure the cyber <laughs> shit, like I, cyber I, plans <laughs> that they have, are insane. Well, I'd like the cyber security <laughs> of like again, sort of public utilities is that was something else i wanted to ask you about is encryption laughable. like i'm not a security mm. expert i'm not an expert in anything but i i like i'm interested in a lot of things and security is one of these again psychological societal layers on top i was talking about i think before we started recording about the different layers of the stack and you've got like your physics mm-hmm. all the way at the bottom maybe your math below that uh-huh. <laughs> and as I've you heard go up that. yeah yeah you've got things like the transport layer uh, the, the networking layer and all, it builds up to like application layer and if you knock out something at the bottom like right. all the stuff above it yeah. just does not work you just need it's to like hit one of those layers the cable, yeah right or turning right. off the wi-fi it's yeah like, the, your, your computer is not yeah. bringing anything new in at right. that point or sending anything <laughs> new out right if the physics Silver. changed if you went that right. far down what's yeah. hilarious right. to me is that a computer like when i have an ipad in my hands it's so powerful but when the wi-fi goes out i feel like well now there's fuck else this is to do on. i guess i'll play <laughs> yeah. i guess i'll play solitaire it's but like i could do amazing H&H things and they'd be like yeah we have it on the table like yeah. we, we have cards it's not that impressive they're actually the size of this machine yeah yeah, yeah. it's very this so is much more inefficient I've, I've never been someone who's anti-technology but I, i'm definitely more than ever on the side of like let's well, keep a awareness. close eye yeah, let's out temper yeah. this yeah let's well let's yeah. just like let's talk about it like let's know where it's going, and and try to be ahead of the curve in terms of the ethics of it. It sounds like anti-business pro-regulation <laughs> pinko commie <laughs> bullshit to me, Luke. Why are you trying to hinder progress? Do you hate this country? Do you hate America? Now, how much do you hate America is the question. Yeah. question. Can you get can you get a number for that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> On a scale from one to I hate it. You know, whatever you your exactly. made-up value system is. Um, yeah, I think that's fair to say. No, I mean, that's why the truth is always somewhere in the middle. It's like, of course, like you don't want to hinder technological growth, but you don't you don't want um, greedy people who are just in it for money to be the first people to like develop, let's say, a conscious AI, general artificial intelligence. So you do and hate then America. They're the ones that like either did or didn't think through all the issues. I'd rather like way separate people be the ones who. It's, you know, it's funny you say just to mention, I actually on Friday did a. Uh, we analyzed a short story in class. It's like a, a flash fiction piece because that's the class. And it was only like a couple hundred words, but it was about this business basically that like opens up in this tiny town and just like the town doesn't stand a chance, like avoiding the business, just coming in and like doing what they want. It's a classic story. It's a classic story. It's used like in everything. The evil corporation comes yeah. in, the big candy store comes in, the they, big they bookstore. Yeah. But, but yeah. Their, their whole thing is like their the, the lesson is that they're like, oh no, we really care about the environment because that's what the town's about. So they're like, Oh, bring up like a thousand butterflies to the store to release at the grand opening. Yeah. But like, it's all these, all these like corporate arms like at work, like as cogs in this machine. And lo- then like the the air conditioner in the van like isn't up all the way, so like all the butterflies die and they wind up with a bunch of oh. dead butterflies. So they throw them in fan in front of fans, so they artificially they like them. fly around. Oh, okay. And then like, that's so, nicer. Yeah, it's, it, it's like really. Yeah, it's like really dark and corporate, but then they're like, "Yeah, huge success. It was great." Even though there were dead butterfly carcasses smeared all over. Because it's more the about the result. It's not like yeah. how you got there. That's what's. That's why you need ethics. It's like exactly the yeah. ends don't right. justify the means. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like so. if if what it took to create an artificial intelligence involved like like uh, v- having humans volunteer to be like 
like put through the torturous process of like wiring and rewiring their neurons to figure out like which one does what. Yeah, I don't... We're gonna study you. <laughs> yeah, like give that... you a free lunch. Like and you know, maybe we'll make the computer better. And humans have done that. That's kind of that's kind of like what happens in Westworld too. I mean, humans haven't alert. done exactly that, but they've oh, they've Luke, done like fucked Westworld. up Go ahead. experiments. Yeah, um, yeah, Luke. Oh, Westworld. should I? Do should this I so well, that, isn't that yeah. what happens in Westworld? Like that's well, what more the, or less. That's what yeah. the robots but go through. Have you heard of Kate Darling, Drew? I think I follow her on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, she's um she's in really? and um cool. she works in the MIT Media Lab, mm-hmm. which is actually where my cousin used to work. It's a cool um, place. And, and so her job is she's a robot ethicist, and her job oh, is to figure awesome. out what is a robot. That turns out it's a hard question to answer. Her job is to figure out like when do the lights come on for a robot, and like when mm-hmm. do you have to treat it like a conscious creature? Like you can't go yeah. fucking like torturing dogs <laughs> in the street because you get arrested is. for that yeah. and maybe you shouldn't be able to torture robots yeah they, they had a, a robot that was like hitchhiking it was a hitchhiking oh hitch yeah yeah fuck it uh, philly Hitchbot. And, and it got it got um vandalized <laughs> murdered it made it across I europe a hitchbot yeah and then they it was a hitchhiking robot by okay. that i mean it would be on the road and basically okay we i'm picturing west world like so just no imagine <laughs> danger will robinson like... yeah. Yeah. no it's literally it had... a garbage can yeah. with a dome and like a smiley face and two arms to hitchhike yeah with, like, it's okay. really cartoon arms. not too interactive yeah, I don't did it know, say I don't anything? Know what it... automation it had on it? It may have just had like a battery with like a GPS tracker. Yeah, like, yeah. How, yeah. I think how did people charge it? Had it had a little like... solar panel. I think it says, solar you budget, know, just yeah. leave me on the side of the road whenever you're done, so I can recharge and someone else. Yeah, it made it through up. Europe. Speaking no, it of made it across Canada. Solar. I, it made it from the west coast of Canada to the east yeah. coast, and then they wanted to go across America. So I think they started in Boston, and it made it to Philly, yeah. and then it got its head ripped off and destroyed. In yeah, it got decapitated in Philly. So while we were talking last episode, I I was just editing last episode today and i heard the, the 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 part where we were talking about the lubed up lampposts in philly yeah like they had to lube up the oh, not yeah. not with yeah, lube but the they greased Super up Bowl. the yeah. Yeah. the lampposts in <laughs> I, philly i saw a similar right like posts uh, so it makes sense that this robot riding. hitchhiker yeah. Yeah, they get a little rowdy out there killed man. in philly i wouldn't blame philly about it I wouldn't. I think there's coincidence. General anti-robot sentiment so, across so what if, the whole country. Well, you, country. Drew, do you yeah. think? But it did make it across two continents before it got to Philly. <laughs> Drew, I got a question for you. Do you think <laughs> that I will be alive for like for the technology to get to the point where I can legally transition to a robot? Um, Go ahead, like to, there's to... so many cool parts to that question, right? Like, yeah, we when, need to pick. No, it's a yes or no question. When are you true. part robot and not totally robot? Would you ever be totally robot? You, it kind of is reminding me of a um, Asimov thing that you'll probably know the name of, where they transfer their minds into robots, like elders or something like that. Well, I'm thinking yeah. more of like a Cymec, like a Krang type thing, like a brain yeah. in a jar. Okay. And I haven't got a robotic. body. I've got no body. Yeah, and I'm you know, just but I've read a lot of artificial point. intelligence things yeah. where it's like, um, like we can't really think of of it as being separate from bodies. Like bodies might be integral to like the yeah. unity of like meat machines. Yeah, let's be clear. We know nothing. Like, yeah. in general, of all knowable things, like humans know very little. <laughs> and especially know, about consciousness especially like... about consciousness uh but also there's a lot of big questions in physics which gets back to are we in a simulation like maybe we're not allowed to see that code because you know we are in right. the simulation but maybe or maybe but maybe like part of the simulation is to like so there there's like uh like for example what if the universe didn't make any sense it turns out like it makes sense in a lot of ways right we form patterns and a ratio of a measurement that we measure here yeah physics are pretty checks solid. out we repeat that but like that's an assumption that the universe is understandable and logical definitely maybe it's just it completely seems that way yeah right. and i think a lot of our pattern finding is an evolutionary need to predict to right? find a signal from the noise yes yes and also see a signal in silence and be like well it forces if, a signal because you have to, you have to have something to fucking do our brains actually like make a lot of input for us when we are deprived of, of yep that's like, what sound that's why you like light. hallucinate when you like yeah, get sensory deprivation, deprivation tanks yeah, yeah exactly so that's just the simulation breaking down yeah well it's sort that. of like you like figuring out yeah. the simulation a little bit maybe i gotta say i i love the simulation but i also hate the simulation i mean why, i, why I do don't hate i it, don't Drew? know what i hate about it is if you're in a simulation it's probably you won't be able to 
ever exit that simulation. So, like, why think about... Right. That's why I was saying in the beginning, like, when I get to the depth of that question of simulation stuff, I think, well, who the fuck cares? I'm still going to get up and go to work tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. It's very heady, too, and it kind of almost devalues arguments sometimes. Yeah. Uh, Well, I mean, I I always like to pull it out whenever I feel like I need it. Be like, eh, fuck it. Like, I'm not going to hatch. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah. I'm not going to hate myself too much. (sighs) You know, simulation. We could be in a turtle's dream in outer space. Yeah. Yeah. This is basically my would you rather. Can I just bring it up now, then? Oh, yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Well, basically, my would you rather is, you know, you live your life, you do whatever, and you're dead now. You're dying. Uh, Okay. The moment after you die, would you rather it's a simulation and like you wake up on the in the alien world and it's like you know like Roy, you're like wow that's a pretty good score. You're gonna do that one again? Are you gonna go be a dolphin oh, this time? Oh, you you're played like, oh, it like fuck. a video game. I see. Yeah, I see. you know something like that or whatever. However it works, you know I don't know how it works, but it's a simulation. Or oh, I thought you were an NPC in the simulation. <laughs> like, well, you are. I, I thought don't know. when oh, really? you turn off the machine, you're you're safe. Oh no, gone. this was you. Oh, Have it. you seen the Rick and Morty? Clip? I, I know Roy. Yeah. 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 yeah so yeah. so we'll yeah. link to this. Video in the I don't want to yeah. spoil anything. If you're advanced, I think yeah. of all things to spoil, we we should we should feel free to spoil Rick, Rick and Morty. And Morty yeah. All right, no, so it's one the kind of thing where you're Roy. an alien, where you're advanced enough, you're like immortal, and you've done everything a million times, so you just hang out in simulations because everything else is kind of dull. Like you have figured out the universe, that type of thing. And you're like, oh, okay. Yeah. Or that's an Alan Watts thing yeah. too. I or think. you die and then you wake up and it's some sort of like you know karmic judeo-christian type afterlife thing where you get judged by whatever and now you're a non-corporeal thing in your spirit or some shit like which would you rather it end up wait but what is that spirit heaven like like is it Um, like curb your enthusiasms heaven (laughs) where larry's just walking around with the same fucking like droopy posture and like worrying about if he's gonna play golf tomorrow like (laughs) it's just i don't know maybe that's just like it's just just his life in clouds i don't know maybe it's just you you know you, you become a different type of being because if you leave so, this simulation, you assume you you know you maybe dumb. I could wind up in hell too, so right? You could enjoy the simulation. So when you die so. in that version, yeah. you're a more advanced being also. What so. I'm hearing is the constraint is there is something after, but it's either right. you it's either transcend or you pop off right. one level of the stack and you're like back in the reality that wrapped your previous. And reality. then your friends are Which around you. Which might just you. be a tentacle like flailing in space. <laughs> But let's say like, it's even like your friends are around you and they've been watching you play the game for 20 minutes. Like that's how long you – and it, it's probably a thing right. where you watch people play the game and so it skips over sleeping. It skips over like boring yeah, shit yeah. and you see the highlights of a person living a whole life. <laughs> We've been watching for 20 years. Hey, yeah. If, you, if I mean, you've so, been alive for trillions of years already being like, yeah, let's watch this idiot be a monkey human thing for like 80 years. Why not? Like, or let's watch this planet go right. from monkeys to Have humans. Have you guys yeah. heard of that Alan Watts thing? Or humans to AI. <laughs> like see how that goes for them have you ever seen those like nice youtube compilation uh videos where they they pair up inception the movie like clips with an alan watts presentation and it's basically about like you know how that process would go where we first develop the ability to make a simulation that you would jump into because you're bored because all the jobs have been automated and you're just sitting at home doing nothing right so you start going into simulations doing whatever the hell you want but then that gets boring because we get bored with things where we're not satisfied, right? And then you say, well, what would make it more fun is if I didn't know right, when I went yeah. in. And this is like the dream tank, right? And um, yeah, but, the brain but in the it couldn't possibly be we were all those brains in control. It, also, the implication well, you is all that might be NPCs. I'm, yeah, you're all NPCs and I'm the only right. real one. As far as I know, you're all. And technically, about, every time somebody, any of you, every real, time that somebody's not record. me dies, it proves my point. Oh, I was right about them at least, because the simulation keeps going, right? Right, oh, but shit. my That's my dark, man. in yeah. my version though, Sorry. everyone Black was Mirror on their is. own simulation, Johnny. They'll so like your your own something. your simulation is <laughs> yeah, only right. going to end when yeah. you die in this version, because like everyone's in their own private simulation. Unless it's like a multiplayer yeah. game. You know? I would definitely take. I would <laughs> definitely take the simulation over. Some, I would do the simulation, yeah. Some sort of mystical or spiritual transcendence. Because the mystical spiritual one, it's too <laughs> it unknown. Could go bad. It, it could, could go be bad. hell. But it that's what I mean. I could wind up it in means hell. That all I'd rather people... be someone who tricked myself than someone who like was incapable of knowing. Yeah, if I want anyone to trick me, I want it to be me. <laughs> <laughs> Luke wants to be the god of his simulation, which you would be, I so guess. So it's a problem right. with authority kind of thing. 
Uh, but what if I mean, tur- ultimately, wait probably, a minute, yeah. wait a minute. We, I, you guys are jumping ahead here because what if it turns out? See, he knows I'm on to I'm on to this genie yeah, motherfucker. Joe always has the key to There's like. What, what if it turns out that it's like a matrix simulation yeah. and you wake up and you're just in a fucking battery and they're like, oh yeah, euthanize him. Yeah. That's too mean. Good. Then what it. happens when I die no, in that reality? No, he says that's not it. No, he just confirmed that's not yeah. it. <laughs> that's not fun for anyone. I wouldn't do Debunked. that. No, but, but, but when you no, pick but you sim- have to ask the genie these questions. When you pick simulation, you're choosing that means that none of you guys are real. I was the only real one. If I choose the other one, oh, you're okay. all real yeah, people I'm, that I'm are it. like, you know, <laughs> get to what. I'm fine with that because I, I started as a simulation. So if I well, go out as a simulation, then that's all I ever was. Wait, but he comes out as... He doesn't know what he comes out as, like, if he's Drew or, like, a tentacle in space. Uh, yeah. No, he was saying... What? I die, but he comes out of the simulation being like... Right? No. No, I, I, I think you still feel like a you. It's just, like, you categorize that. It, I, I, I thought he was saying exactly like the Rick and Morty Pre- Roy game. Pretty much. Like, you're still... This other thing, you kind of snap out of it. It's like a self like, was I'm a But you, you don't go into that that game as yourself. You go in as a character. Yeah, no, yeah. You go in, you you go in, you forget that. So you, you wouldn't know. be Luke when you left the simulation, like yeah. in the future. You but would... I would have all the memories of sure. this, and then have to just like go through the terrifying process of categorizing it all as I wake up and realize right. I'm in a. Maybe or like three seconds away. later, be like, yeah. oh yeah, that game was fun. I'm like a super sentient being where it's like. Could be that like was cocaine, weird. where you just start doing more and more and then like if you just like take a little dose of the video game simulation it doesn't really affect you that much i think I sure think, uh, to, to i would be, it back, I would be like if when super mario dies <laughs> he, he his consciousness snaps to you it'd be like whoa it's such a big upgrade to like a 2d jumping yeah, thing boodly, boodly, boodly. to being like i'm um, a 3d human on this oh, oh, planet oh, called oh, earth oh, and doing oh, all these oh, other oh, things yeah I think virtual reality is powerful, <laughs> and we are starting to make our own non-photorealistic simulations. But, About damn time. But again, if you go a generation up, you put them on the roller coaster demo, and they're like, "Holy shit!" I yeah, yeah. Duke. Like, uh, and I think there's some power there to make people believe something's possible. Sure, yeah. And I think that's a great way to. Well, I think maybe like take all this technology. Yeah, it could be like good in a lot of ways, but it could also just be bad in a lot of ways. It, and it's up to us how we figure out how to develop it, what directions it goes in, and like how to regulate it so it can't be used for like obviously evil things. Well, that's like Sorry. Elon Musk sa- like, uh, says. Yeah, it's, Elon. It, it, it's well, it's all about being proactive with it. Like it's it's way yeah. more difficult to react to a problem rather than like foresee it, you know, and maybe speculate on it. Ahead well, of I time. always say what it's if... not a word, right? I to students when I'm talking about like reading music I was like you can't react to what you see you have to be proactive like yeah. you have to proact right. yeah, proactive re- preact yeah. you can react pre-empt. can you preact you can preempt yeah I, I don't know I don't know words you can John. preact it's your you about words guy right yeah you were going to act but you did it before the act it's therefore like, a yeah. preact yeah. there's definitely something like to this technology though it's the, like the overture, right the preact sure yeah <laughs> <laughs> the overture is a perfect example of what i think I'm this is drew just asked us like why do you guys i fucking love elon musk so much and i'm just thinking like i what 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 it was was his i watched a bunch of videos because like we did an episode on him yeah, and, that launch yeah is, that'll do it there's the something about his energy him. yeah the falcon know? heavy launch was pretty dope i i agree I he like... has this inspiring energy of like let's yeah. head face forward into the future and like see what the fuck can happen i like live streamed that at work with my boss yeah he was like oh we have a meeting do you want to watch this yeah it it was pretty it was pretty yeah that sounds like a good meeting yeah also and then yeah i was like super pumped at the end i was like yeah let's do this thing let's go to mars i'm bringing beer shit we're not going to mars it felt a little bit like like this generation's version of like the moon launching you know like i do think that it feels like that in the wake of like the recent launch Mm -hmm. but again these things are happening quicker and there's yeah space is really interesting and there's not a lot going on there so locally it feels like a moon landing moment but we've done a lot more than launch a rocket. This is just sort of like, hey, this is an update to what yeah. we should have already been doing. Also, oh, it was the first time. It was the first while. time I was um, having beer at 2 p.m. watching a rocket launch with my friends. So it could have been that. No, but it's all about the innovation. Like we talk about technological innovation, and that, that's why that rocket matters. It's this idea of, you know, reusing rockets and reusability yeah. and bringing down cost and 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 being able to do more than, you know, with that. You, yeah. His vision is to be able to launch 
you know, maybe not so much the Falcon Heavy as the BFR, hmm. which is the next one they want yeah. to design, right? Big fucking rocket. Big yeah. fucking rocket. But he wants it's a good to, code name. And it he wants to be able to launch Siley. launch tons of those, you know what I mean? For all sorts of yeah, purposes. Yeah, I mean, they were talking about, you know, global travel and, like, having 30 yeah. to 40 minute flights to go At, around Anywhere the in the world, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think that's really cool. Yeah. I just think that, like, we need an Elon Musk in every industry, and, like, sure. he's already covering a couple. Well, I was and we say, also yeah. need an ethicist in yeah. every industry to, like, yeah, balance I mean, them and, 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 you know, just know so that... just that... requires people not seeing this technology as magic, as seeing it as... Yeah. And if it is magic, spin the whole Harry Potter, like, fan base into, like, let's learn these spells, everybody. Like, yeah. I don't you know, think you have to, like, get that low with people. I mean, like, I think if sorry we... If I was being... We no, lost that's, all that, was a, that was a perfect. Yeah, that was just, a perfect you just rant. kicked out all of our heart. No. Yeah, you alienated <laughs> a small group we, we didn't have anyways. That was perfect. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I love Harry Potter. Don't get me wrong. Um, like, share, and subscribe. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> if you're listening, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Harry, if you're out there, please um, donate on Patreon. Like, y- you know, I think if you just explain to people that, um, that you know, people's goals are to usually, like, if they have kids because they actually want to have kids some people just do it but um then it's like well you want your kids to have a good life and for their kids to have a good life like and like some people don't think if that you far d- out. i know some people Isn't don't it, have that i think horizon a lot of people of kids don't think that far it's out. crazy well, there's so many inputs against a signal no- noise thing like how can you plan for your life if you don't know what's going on in the next that's where i like this two, five, um, ten, resolution of thinking idea it's like i have a high resolution model of what i'm going to do tomorrow mm-hmm. but i have a lower resolution model of a week later but it involves like generally going to these students houses and then other stuff yeah yeah but i already have dinner planned tomorrow right whereas next year is like a the only resolution i care about is like all right i haven't like done anything to like make my head fall off or something like pretty basic you need to have these like metacognition skills to be able to increase your thinking capacity to be able to hold on to a bunch of ideas at the same time be like you know what, I don't need to remember everything at once if I kind of cluster stuff together right. and have little totems, not like going back to that, oh no, that's um, Inception, never mind. Oh, Inception. Uh, I'm just saying like, you gotta, oh, yeah, 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 you got to right. hack your brain in order to be able to think that's how without I, overloading yeah. yourself. That's how I feel like I learn is like I, I've sort of hacked my brain to be able to make a category or something and then throw it in the corner and now I don't have to worry about that until it comes right. up again and now I start looking at a new problem. I can hold about four things in my working memory, and then I have to categorize them if I'm going to hold on to them. Yeah, but Throw it's not them... like you have some list that's like tags for lists of things. No, it's, and like you're it's not. I don't know how it, it works. Like the it's web mysterious. Or something like that. But I think this uh, there's a lot of technology, but there, it's not like in our heads yet, right? Like, what if there wasn't something that was on the web that right. was in your head that was like, hey, by the way, reminder, <laughs> you wanted to do this five minutes ago. Like, we're not there yet. Because and that what would, would that even mirror. be? Exactly. You know? I'm saying like we don't yeah. understand our binds. We have all these tools. We're trying to slap two things. It's together. It's funny you say that because I'm writing a, the book I'm writing right now. It kind of gets into that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna need you to help me with this because I I've been trying to figure it out. Yeah, those kind of books I'll are always better questions. when they're like <laughs> no, technologically it's, accurate. It's, it's, and stuff. it's like it's basically like it's all about like these kind of like pseudo projection reality like headsets and well, like that's why i think vr is really cool because it's this yeah. new space to express yourself in space like exactly you yeah. talked about this micro macro thing I, this is one of my favorite uh internal like imagery motions right like it's not just visually visualizing something static it's like there's the space you're swimming around right and you yeah can zoom it's out. wishy-washy yeah and, like... and it's the alphas like at 50 for everything like you can it's like ghosted right like nothing's yeah. really there it's all concept so you're saying when you're thinking through a problem or or trying to solve something like you're you're imagining yourself in that space moving the the I see you objects lean on of that problem part around of your evolved brain as you can like if you got to smell visual. something to think about it do it right okay cool so which I is think, what musicians do very well i think yeah I, like because they great. have to integrate they're already, all those things exactly. they're already and, working yeah. across like the linguistics like we talk about the senses but do you like, think knowing music helped you with another... this kind of thinking then because you're you're also like like I'm less and less of a musician every day unfortunately I'm a... i like 
I mean, simulation not... getting you down? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Got the old simulation blues. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. I can't play them anymore. The simulation. <laughs> I can't down play to the old simulation me blues. Hardware. <laughs> Wait, Johnny. Well, we're sell you shitty drill start, bits, and you can the yell the sim- at the simulant <laughs> to hack workers and make them feel sh- even shittier about their day than you do. The four of us can be the first simulation blues band. Let's do it. <laughs> that can be the name of our can band. The first jackets? Sim- four well, simulation well, blues. Yes, band. that's our first the, step. The Let's order jackets tonight. Yeah. And we won't forget that. Yeah. So. You see, you were saying. I don't know what I was saying. Oh, you were talking about um, <laughs> we're moving about around like, in that space of mind thinking. Oh, and... yeah. So I was talking to my sister today about like horizontal and vertical thinking, which is mm-hmm. like a way that I try to make more explicit the idea that I can't, I don't have enough uh, of a focal plane to like keep all of the thoughts in at the same time. So sometimes you kind of have to like be like, uh, these things are next to each other. Uh-huh. And like the vertical part is like, how deep into this thought am I getting into versus like connecting thoughts together? It's telling right. her about some like life plans and talking about how it was so hard to think about what am I going to move? When am I going to get a, a new job or stay in the same job or something like that? Just thinking about them as all these like independent problems. And when I thought about it, it's like the execution of this planning is going to happen through me, a single point. Yeah. So I might as well try to collapse some plans together. And like, Thinking visually about that helped me in a way that I... I What you're describing is also how I think. Like We should hang out. Um, <laughs> yeah. You should plan. Collaborate. Um, yeah, I mean, so it's it's part of how I think I should say. Like, sometimes I'm in that space where, um, you know, uh, you're picturing yourself as some center of some kind. I don't know exactly how to describe that center. Yeah, you're freaking me out a you're little bit. You're the camera. Go ahead. But... Okay, so Joe, yeah. just oh, I know what you're. Like... Sa- I know what you're saying now. It's like when I Im- are you saying like when I imagine something that I'm gonna do. Yeah, so like, let's say tomorrow. tomorrow, like you know, there are five branches. But I'm like you a fixed take, camera right? point in that image. Yeah, exactly. yeah right. you you're can like, go to the you're, gym you're or the not go to the gym. Right. Yeah, you're like putting yeah. yourself in a scene. Yeah, totally. And yeah. what no, what what, what you're really doing though in your mind is running a little bit of a simulation. Sure. Yeah. Like I go to myself. Let's say I wake up and I look at the time and I think, okay, if I go to the gym. Like realistically, it's going to take me five minutes to find pants, then driving there, driving yeah. back, a, and like I run the store? simulation of going to the gym. I run the simulation <laughs> of yeah. of not going yeah. to the gym but going later. Um, I run the simulation of skipping the gym and being like, but oh. talking about it takes like a hundred times longer than than your just actual... just but my like quick zero. This is sort of exactly. what I do in the morning a lot of times if I wake up and I'm like, oh, it's too late to go back to sleep but I still don't know what I'm going to teach today exactly. And I'll just kind of play through it in my head. Like, what am I actually going to do in front of this group of people based on what I kind of know I have to? But Joe, you don't have to translate that to language, which is like this time saver. No, I don't. Somehow all the lesson plans come to me. Yes. I I work out the wire. In like the untranslated form, and you don't have to go through the mental fatigue of putting them into words until yeah, you like actually get there. Yeah, like sitting down on a piece of paper and being like, well, if I do this lesson, right. they'll they'll do this and they'll react this way. It's like, no, nah, I think they won't You know won't what I think me. that is? It'll in that fine. moment, Joe, you're driving to go teach in the morning. You haven't actually written yep, down a specific plan, right? Yeah, that's the other way. Plan, I right? But you trust. That's why we need you can, cars. He can that feel the threshold <laughs> of his brain, like the resolution that's like underneath is like giving him enough confidence that he can like burp it out when he gets it, there. I, 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 I use the – it crystallizes. <laughs> it crystallizes, yeah. yeah. Right? Like you start with a sand uh, particle and it like – Around the actual manifestation of the beginning of the plan, the rest of the plan fills in. Yeah. Like Which you need to start. the reason I love yeah. that is the actual moment where the crystals just become clear and perfectly pristine and Ding. and high resolution. <laughs> yeah, they start. Is tuning. the process of having to put it into speech. So I think there's a lot of power of having to force yourself to take a low resolution thought and and push it up through your consciousness, eventually out your speech centers, where right. you can actually find out if it was based in something really yeah. truthful or right. just And there are so many different models whatever. of yeah. creating speech internally across languages and stuff like this. So it's yeah. funny to me because what ends up the picture I get when I see <laughs> when I see a couple of, you know, monkey people making sounds with their mouth. What areas, did you call us? I'm just saying he, he we're crazy. We like monkeys, evolved yeah. from monkeys, right? And then we made sounds, uh, and those sounds. Some people think that. Okay. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> no, it's, go it's, ahead. It's a it's a whole thing, but yeah, go on. What I mean to say is this picture in the mind thing. You're talking about getting that picture inside out to somebody else. Yeah. That yeah. itself feels like a miracle. I'm not like a spiritual person, but that is such a huge leap. And the fact that we can acquire speech 
from a young age. Right. At that same time, you're learning to zoom pinch. A, so do you uh, think other primates image. have that speech, but just not the physical ability? So, like they their brains are trying to push that and have it bubble out, but I have no idea. But what I think is interesting is that when you're talking to your students, you're crystallizing your thoughts getting them out there when you're writing you're doing the same thing I, i'm yeah. not great at communication as you may well it's it, it, it's a different it's it's kind of a different plane but yeah it's it's the same exercise well i would right. say the and they are all either you know on their phones not paying attention or i don't know how college students are these days but oh, about right. just, just like me right now they're all on their phones not oh, yeah. paying attention I, yeah, <laughs> this are, is why i'm so are. good at it because i actually am paying attention of course and so are they everyone's multitasking because i'm good at i'm good at making sure that they're still paying attention sure and I still, what I tell them is I reserve the right to not give you any credit for being in class ever <laughs> when you're on your phone. And then I sometimes don't give them credit because right. I they, know, they I know they're not paying flavor. attention. Like, cause when they ask me dumb questions that I've already said the fucking answer to, I'm like, yeah, you were playing Candy Crush and you couldn't handle both. So you yeah. lose. You well, get nothing. Good day, sir. <laughs> That's actually the first link in my syllabus is that clip of Willy Wonka. I said good where, day. Where Char- Charlie's is uncle is like, that's, yeah, he's like, he's like, why didn't I, why didn't Charlie get the chocolates? Like, cause you didn't follow the rules. It's so simple. Yeah. Follow the fucking rules. And if the rules suck, then change them. Like work your way through the, the structure that made class. the rules and change class. them. And it, in this case, it's just one class where the rules, I think are reasonable. If I know you well enough, like you're probably not like. They're reasonable. You must stand all two hours. Hats like... off, everyone. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah. what are you, fucking kidding? Yeah, keep your hat on. Who cares? Yeah, put it on backwards. I don't care. Um, Sideways. Johnny, a few episodes ago, you mentioned, like, it very quickly in passing, this idea of maybe, like, we got, we evolved to be just intelligent enough, and any more would actually be a downside to evolutionary fitness. And I was yeah. thinking, like, oh, how is that going to interact yeah. with artificial intelligence? Like, well computers get so smart where they just become nihilistic and they're like fuck this and they, they just like turn the whole universe off they go like terminator yeah, like, what if the like, universe is finite and they calculate it and they're like uh, all right then i guess and like that yeah know, like what's the situation. point they see yeah, through I mean, the yeah. meaning you know and they just stop helping us they're not out to get us they're like no we're, we're done we're just gonna wait it out it's like, uh, but you know one of the hard things it. about that it's hard to define or they start intelligence. A simulation themselves why don't we just download all these humans into it They'll be right they can we do could, it so, I mean, it's hard to define intelligence, but let's say, like, a human is some kind of balance of emotion and, like, logical reasoning. Let's not, though. Because <laughs> it's so much more. You got the body. You were talking about that yeah, before. I fair think enough. That's a huge... Yeah, I plan to, to learn from just, to like, a robot falling body. down or burning your hand on something or, like... Or having the feeling of a body and, like, maybe that's integral. That's interesting, yeah, because when you think about, especially as a child, so much of it is sensory just kind of reaction you're learning physics yeah you know and and you're learning that's physics helping you understand physics, yeah. that the way you interact with the world is also predictable like your body's predictable. Yeah. But... it's always forming patterns and right. then making assumptions and yeah like what's interesting is now we're at this like cultural point where so much more is expressible because it's not like you need to be confined to a book People make movies. People make games that teach yeah. people things. People got really famous making vines that became in like a little art form thing. Like, hey, look, I'm famous for making eight second like snapshots of things. Like, I love that. I actually I, love it too. I love I'm great this, at Snapchat. Like, Twitter, like in social media history, they're gonna look back at, at how useful it was to make something super short and consumable. Because it just makes them so much more spreadable. Like I will always click them, whereas like a 15 minute video, I'm like, well. If the title is really intriguing, I'll save it for like when I get home from work and later. That's, like title making and movie making are not the same skill set. Exactly. That's one of the problems is you get a lot of like things that spread rapidly but don't have in like deep value, you know. They're yeah. just like I mean, look at all these news titles that like get you to click it. Clickbaits. I won't. It's like yeah, wolf. That's a thing. Wolf but eats man's face. It, it makes sense. I teach a whole, I teach a whole day. Face, I teach a whole it, day on clickbait. It's amazing. Like clickbait. Yeah, yeah. I fucking hate that shit because I get fooled by it. That's why I hate yeah. it. You but know? it makes sense that that's where, because it's like a predictable chaotic thing at marketing, right, and advertising. So it makes sense that's where like the AI is. Like I always thought it was gonna be killer robots. I didn't think it'd be Facebook ads and shit. That yeah, it's making out, sure the, you click on something. Yeah, or the algorithms that that like control my behavior. I thought it'd be robots with lasers telling me to like mine ore for them. I just assume that. I know it doesn't make sense, but when I think about it now, 
But oh, you know, we, we sent around that video of the new Boston Dynamics opening the yeah, door, the, uh, oh, opening God. the doors. Yeah, Boston so Dynamics is just like that video that we're gonna look back at and be like, "This is why we're hiding in caves from the robots." Videos. I mean, if you oh, haven't been God. tracking them over the years. Oh, oh no, yeah. I've I've been like tuned in for like five six years now, where it's just like it gets scarier every year. Because it, they're evolving, they're doing an hardcore process. So give the on give this, the like, uh, biomechatronic pet. Give the twenty second uh, update on like what is Boston Dynamics. Boston Dynamics is uh is planting the seeds to our demise <laughs> through insane robots that are now off wires they're all Wait, on there about bitch. i i think the, <laughs> yeah. my favorite boston dynamics video was they had this sled being pulled at oh christmas i tried to time. break luke one night and i sent like they had a christmas oh, like yeah. just like merry christmas yeah. everybody and it was and this worker dogs, was sitting in like, the back and like, robo dogs, like, robot, reindeer, like right? yeah. Dog yeah with reindeer robo handlers robo and, and they they pulling a sleigh they just short they, it was just short of them looking at the camera and going like Wink. <laughs> yeah, wink. Like, like I don't know. I just felt like, all right, guys, let's be careful because let's say consciousness doesn't arise from, like, the programmers where they're working on the mind part. Let's say Boston Dynamics is working on so much of the physical part. Let's say, like, when you integrate enough physical body and sensory yeah. input, that's where the birth of, like, feeling a center of consciousness comes oh, from, see, something like here, that. Here it is. And here they wouldn't even is. know that they made it, yeah, you know? Yeah, I've seen yeah. that one. I'm, They've got such a nice little prance to them. I'm much they more concerned the down whenever I see one of them. Christmas they synced up, yeah. yeah. Whenever I see one of them moving well, I just imagine it bristling with, like, guns and missiles and lasers, and it scares the shit yeah. out of yeah. me. And that I, seems I, like I the obvious application. Easy, especially that, that yeah. last video that was with the handle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So basically, if you haven't seen it, Give it a two robots, but you don't know that at the beginning. One walks up to the door and has an arm that's like, kind of looks like the, the thing of the arcade that grabs a toy, like the claw. Yeah, yeah the shitty claw that yeah, can't grab but anything. This, yeah. this one's a little bit more industrialized, uh, dare I say, weaponized. And it, it opens Skilled. the door for its other robot friend that's like the same model without the claw. It's like, oh, but it, don't mind if I do. It yeah, opens yeah. the door. Like the they're working door. together now. Yeah. It's a little bit like the Jurassic Park Velociraptor <laughs> scene for sure. Yeah. Yeah, but they can't like breathe on the the window yet. But they're, yeah. They're like... Dude, that's right. So, I'm, they're I'm not breathing the, the scary fog. I'm watching the, the video window. right now. They don't and have it's, terror protocols. I'm watching so. the video right now, and it like it, it its claw like opens up like a fucking jaw. Just like yeah, I'm gonna grab this handle and open well, it. Well, I I've talked about this a few times. Like they say like. Like Ray Kurzweil in his TED talk was speaking about how oh God, mammals are are very different in terms of like we devoted a lot of evolutionary energy to building up our prefrontal cortex, you know, mm-hmm. and we have a lot of density there, and that's what leads to our you know obvious domination of planet Earth. Um, right. Whereas something like a reptile, like it doesn't go through that same like we should logically make sure what we're doing makes sense and matches up with the environment, like. It's there's a coldness behind a shark's eyes, behind a snake's eyes that's just like reminds me of how I feel watching these robot videos. Yeah, for sure. It's just like a, a I, I think of them as computer program. You don't know big that, Luke. I once knew a monitor moved. lizard that ran a soup kitchen down in Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> can you okay. can you expand upon that? No, sorry, Drew. Go ahead and make your point. I just had to get that in there. We're gonna start derailing you very quickly if we haven't done that already. No, we have the whole um, time. We're just yeah, yeah. I, it's just gonna get Although worse. we didn't get Drew's take on AI yet. Like, what's your just general take on AI? Like, uh, again, because are you we in... need to communicate through language? Like, we use these labels. I think a lot of ideas fall into the bucket of AI. I think people who work okay, on I, AI can have Okay, can I can I paint you a scenario and you tell me if it's stricter terms that mean more yeah. specific things? You mentioned like general AI. Yeah. I'm Which talking about AGI. Yeah, AGI. Yeah, what's yeah. what's AGI for? Artificial General like Intelligence. Yeah, it's basically saying like. But how's that different from passes AI? Passes the Turing test, which okay. is it's, it's generalized. You have a chat with your robot and you can't tell if it's a robot or a human. That's the Turing test. Yeah, but I'm talking test. like so, Joe. What you're holding in your hand right now is already significantly better at you in a lot of skills, including math, right. inf- memory, right? But yeah. you're still more intelligent than it, right? Because if you don't plug it in, it dies. Well, I think it comes down to mm-hmm. manipulation, right? Like, I can... I, I have these fingers. I can do all sorts of things. Right. Those thumbs That's, come in handy. Those th- these thumbs. I got these thumbs. Without these thumbs, I don't know what I am. But So, artificial general intelligence would be... Well, I mean, like, the closest that I've heard recently is, like, you had the Google Go thing, and then you had, like, I think it was Google Alpha that, like... It's it, a, AlphaGo was Alpha, the project, I think. 
but I there was one chess. that taught itself how to play chess there from the same Deep like blue so ibm had uh i think it was i don't know the name of the, the Deep chess blue player. was Deep the blue ibm was... one that beat gary kasparov yes kasparov yeah um and that was a while ago and then you know you've got like watson playing jeopardy and and things like this there's there's a lot of sort of uh introducing culture to these ideas like this is possible this is possible right so we're, we get like, not less, only do we have, less freaked like, out by it yeah and so like there is a cool progression where like you know chess is very structured yeah it's, what what is considered a smaller search space than go because go is very general there's like fewer rules but it's a way bigger board and if you talk about like the math of counting how many different possible yeah, boards combinations are there. yeah whatever. yeah that's like really much bigger space to search if you want to think of the problem wait go like, has more combinations than chess yeah so there are more different types of pieces which would make you think right. chess is more complex right but the board is smaller like beginners right. of go play on like a quarter of the board i see right and you like grow up and you're like okay i yeah. understand i remember not getting past that in high school yeah, I mean, like, yeah. I can't tell who's winning until they're, like, have have won. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, like, I, 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 It's definitely something to uh, acclimate to. Sure. But um, the thing I, I remember about Go, just in terms of the art, artificial intelligence thing, is that it taught itself how to play, as opposed to Deep Blue, which was programmed by humans right. how to play. That, that had, like, strategies and heuristics. And yeah. Like, well, huh. some, you know, that's they would, like, read a book and be like... Well, you know, chess is played this way by certain people, by this way for other people. So, like, let's go down a path A and path B. This is the search analogy for it, where you're like looking with, through with all chess? those possible boards. Yeah. Yeah, they call it ply in in like P L Y, like and like the really Johnny. Have you ever heard of these um, chess engines? Have like a tournament every year, yeah. where they put mm-hmm. the chess engines against each other and like see who wins. Yeah. That sounds awesome. Yeah. You two play a lot of chess. You play chess too. I got into not, it. Not any. You, we haven't played chess in a while. It's been a while, but yeah. I I got really into it for about a year. I, I had like a paid membership on a site where I was like in this like chess league. I'd literally be at the it bar. Was a, and be like, it was actually sorry. A, I gotta go home and play a chess. It was game. actually like, a live stream <laughs> porn thing. He did, he just played every game with a shirt off. And didn't understand. <laughs> he called it chess. Yeah. Why well, they? Well, the yeah. guy said that it was part of the club rules, but I just you know I don't yeah. want to. No, I'm actually an okay chess player. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He doesn't want to break cultural norms. That's like the most sports reference you'll get out of me tonight. Skins or shirts? Yeah. That's, 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 thing, right? that's solid. That. Yeah, yeah, you no. nailed it. Sure, yeah. Nailed it. The you nailed it, yeah. Took off the shirt. I mean, I, yeah, I, no, you're, you're good to roll. I used to be pretty good at chess, and I suck at Go. It's it's a lot harder. Go and in, in chess, are the, they're not transferable. No, not at all. Like, maybe I, I would Go agree with that, would be yeah. pretty good at chess. Because, because they're a smart person, But that's the thing. I don't know if you heard about this. That that the the uh, computer that learned how to play oh, you're go about teaching itself yeah it taught itself how to play chess from the same right so there's this idea of learning yeah right? so yeah is, that's what I'm getting at is yeah. that sort of a more difficult thing than just solving a problem is like learning what is a problem and defining the problem to abstract and away problem and right. then and abstraction yeah. is a huge tool I think like you know the way you get higher intelligence than just like is this thing going to kill me or not evolution wise is like you start abstracting like that thing's another human or that thing's prey and more and more abstractions yeah. you get the, the higher brain sort of yeah kicking in well the lizards who didn't well i yeah. i would say the abstraction um, process is what you were saying before with like you're in that space of your mind where you're manipulating things playing out scenarios where if x happens but y happens if x happens but y doesn't happen right if x doesn't happen but do, you know like and what you, you're doing is you're pulling things into the foreground and saying the rest of it i don't need to think about right because now. you can but only handle so much the, at a time the paper trail back to if i need to go first principle it's all interconnected yeah you can yeah. go first principle to anything theoretically yeah. but if but you don't need it very lossy like a yeah. wireless connection it's yeah it's i've been using this with my piano students a lot lately i'm like you know, it seems like you know it in your mind, but like your Wi-Fi connection is really shitty. Is that so like it's not getting said? to your fingers? Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, it's because like you that. didn't practice, though. You know when you're in the <laughs> but you know of Wi-Fi. That one room, you know? <laughs> yeah. Your mind's there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Stuck. You're in that shitty basement with like the wrong crossbeam going across the house that just ruins <laughs> the Wi-Fi signal or whatever. 
Is that what happens? At your There's house? sorts of, yeah, yeah all sorts of things. Like certain yeah. materials that the waves the, are crazy. The microwaves yeah. can't make its way through or something. There's a supermarket I won't shop at because like... I can't listen to yeah. podcasts because there's the construction of the building. There's no signal. And they in won't there. take your returns. <laughs> I was like, I'll go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> they're like oh you can get on our wi-fi if you, you just give us your, your name number. and your phone and then, number and then i throw a Molotov cocktail at a customer service yeah, and I hear, yeah. so the receipt drew the that the... <laughs> yeah, yeah use the receipt as the oil drag <laughs> the scenario of artificial intelligence that i was thinking of i think the guy's name is aj good have you heard of that name great guy you're dropping a lot of names i'm not good with names um he he's just someone like who's he, he, I think his famous Drew. example Drew. was Drew. Yeah. Um, if you consider that Drew. that artificial artificial intelligence is coming, right? Um, and the two assumptions people make when it comes to artificial intelligence is that one, consciousness seems to be a product of information processing, and two, can you recreate that from hardware instead of brain material? Right. Would it be the same thing? Would it be the same thing is is a question for sure. But this guy, AJ Good, anyway, says, if you found out that 50 years from today, an alien civilization would be visiting the Earth, you would be very worried about that, planning for it, like thinking about it every day. Right, yeah. Right, versus the yeah, computer is coming. Yeah, the computer is coming, yeah. right? And there's no whatever it, intelligence is and however it's going to work, I think it's pretty secure to say it's coming. And it's something akin to an alien civilization coming, right? Well, it's it's alien like, right? We all seem to talk about it a lot and then like do nothing about it. I can I can I read you a, a Westworld quote along these lines, perhaps? Yes, because it's not really. You've seen Westworld? Yeah. Okay. You have okay, so. And the season two, you know. I can't wait for season two, but I'm curious what you think about this We're quote because right? it's, it's I don't know if it's my favorite quote, but it's interesting. So it it's um it's by uh what's his name Ford. I think Anthony Hopkins Anthony character. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So he says there Bernard. is Yeah. Yeah. But not. <laughs> he says there is no threshold that makes us greater than the sum of our parts. No inflection point at which we become fully alive. We can't define consciousness because consciousness does not exist. Humans fancy that there's something special about the way we perceive the world. And yet we live in loops as tight and closed as the robots do seldom questioning our choices content for the most part to be told what to do next i know that scene there's like a youtube like video going around that's just that clip yeah and his acting in that is so amazing it's really good. well he's Especially fantastic Especially given all the context yeah like with all the context on. it's important but yeah i mean yeah, fuck I, I, I would <laughs> yeah because there's something that. there's something in there where you're like you hear that and you think fuck right so yeah. definitely yeah I like think like heavily, oh like right? I am mostly on loops. I am mostly like running a program Humans and occasionally selfish, so they want to think yeah. they're they're special, right? Like yes, it's and... all to make us feel a warm and fuzzy about people. And he's like human. that's all an illusion. And hopeful enough about the future to like set it up to be right. successful. Right. We need to, again believe something is possible yeah. in order to make right. it possible. If we like thought nothing was possible, like we'd get a lot lot, lot less far than Oh, well, why would I do anything if right. what I want, that's the goal I said is not going to yeah. happen? Yeah. Be like it's stupid. The simulation sucks. So, I mean, I'm gonna think... return the simulation. You want my phone number? Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, is this the Delos support line? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Hi, I'm I'm looking for simulation support. Um, yeah. I'm really not happy with my current plan. I'd like to upgrade yeah. to like more higher resolution birds. Like, <laughs> like all the birds suck. <laughs> Such an odd thing. If you could be like, oh, I want to be a foot taller. No, nah, can you up get, get? Can I get the latest bird patch? Maybe I, more maybe, brighter watcher, birds. Right? Yeah, yeah, maybe I became a bird watcher and like now I'm like dissatisfied like with the fuzzy birds. If you really look closely at birds uh, Luke, with binoculars, Luke, your they look fuzzy. Would, <laughs> Luke, I'm sorry, but I think like the first ten years of your simulation would just be weird and lame like that. Like, yeah, you just fuck around with birds and sidewalks Tripping and out. stuff. Yeah, <laughs> turn them into treadmills and be like, whoa. Johnny's like, like a pirate, when you, like when and you I'm exit like the bird watcher. Be like, like, man, you really blew those first ten years just kind of staring at birds twitching, like. And then I'd be like the weird bird guy. Like every every party I go to, I'm just like, you know, birds. Hey, I'm the bird. Guy. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's a word, you know. But what what do you think about that? Like the, the, this idea of like, yeah, consciousness as it, he says, like, oh, it it doesn't exist. It's just an illusion. He's basically yeah, it's saying like it's an what illusion, we're talking right? about with artificial intelligence. Like, yeah. We need to sort of put a spot on the map in order to go there. Right. And like. Yeah. You know, there was a time where we didn't have a word consciousness. I don't know when that was, sure, yeah. but like 
people had to study the idea of like what is the difference between the That's mind and the brain yeah. or like are right. they this is one on top of the other or are they the one thing together is it like software running on hardware kind of vibe right. you know this right. idea of like the holistic like it's your body because you've got a nervous system throughout the whole thing like that's well i mean they say your stomach too. is your second brain right there's a lot of neurons down there. um there's a lot of neurons and joe knows i have like a poop theory about that where like i feel like my nervous system down there knows how close to home i am through my unconscious like it's not like i'm consciously telling my stomach like we're close to home stomach that's how you know it's but not like, to as have I, to want to shit until you yeah but it, it, through the something door. gets sent yeah, down the vagus the nerve door. and because all of a sudden it knows think about yeah. that it would be right it's it's, it it's not productive much. it got yeah. pushed yeah. down yeah. below that filter mm. yeah. yeah you might not um, be able to actually get to the toilet because you're so preoccupied you're with, like, that you have to be because you don't know how to walk and not fall down the stairs to get to the toilet right so I think, I mean, do you know if you cut <laughs> off, really human, if so. you cut off the Only stomach humans. from like the vagus nerve, it it comes it, alive. No, it it figures out how to do peristalsis without any help from the brain. That's cool. Um, it's it's. But is that because of the nerves? Like so, like at what point is there yeah. a hovering small little consciousness inside of something like what a is stomach? Consciousness? <laughs> Luke, how often do you talk to your stomach? <laughs> yeah, Luke, how often do you We're actually? Almost home, Luke, buddy. Be honest, yeah. <laughs> And does the stomach talk back in actual words? Oh. Luke, if it did talk back, what would it say? Um, <laughs> it, it doesn't speak in words, like language, but it does speak like, let's say you have to poop. <laughs> I have um, been drinking a lot of You kind of know lately, when you can hold it and when you can't hold it. Yeah. And your stomach has a way of telling you that signal. It's like, it'll give you the signal yeah. of I have to poop, but it's like, hey, take this seriously, yeah. you know? And like I, it's not in language that it does that. It's in something else, and I become That's aware point, of the yeah, feeling it's, of it. It's language some sort is, of like abs- like, it, it, but it's some sort of like emotional. It's a this, almost. Joe. I'm nudging yeah. Joe. It's a nudge. It's like a yeah. cerebral <laughs> nudge that yeah. I can't like yeah. physically. Pin. It's an expression yeah. from yourself to yourself. Yeah, yeah. It's weird. So, it, so okay. What, it, what is this consciousness? This like on off point. Mm-hmm. No, because I think in order right, to communicate with each other, we had to say this is a concept. There's like, and now immediately there's like the yeah. concept and the lack of the concept. So when right. do we get from one to the other? Uh, and and you think like a squirrel has that just to a different degree different than a human. Degree. That's sort of right. my worldview. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Right. There's no reason uh, to think you know, a squirrel's like not having any experience. Yeah, like a chicken still feels like something. It's a yeah. chicken. Probably more than a squirrel. You remember that duck video I sent you of all the ducks? Oh, I they think do. so. I... <laughs> It's just like a million a ducks pond? going across that... the street. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, wow. I was trying to freak you out again. A million. Joe tries like to break my brain with things like that. Yeah. Um, it's just like, like a million ducks. In, from the philosophy angle, I know, <laughs> what's his name? Um, Would you rather fight Thomas Nagel 100 has a... ducks in a beekeeper's outfit <laughs> or like two <laughs> raccoons? And I'll give you a bat. Wait, are the ducks motivated? <laughs> two raccoons to try... and a bat. Are the ducks motivated to try to kill me? Uh, it, they, the ducks are motivated to but like it's only two not they're not they're not not they're that's their goal but they're not super motivated like they're not Wait, how they're many not ducks? rabid ducks but they're gonna come at you and duck you whatever that is how many ducks 100 you just got stop and i have no you weapons got, you got some steel toed boots and a beekeeper i think that feels steel safe yeah. steel toe are boots. they in the suit with me like, no, that's no, no, no. can i take pack. off my boot and beat them with my steel to boots there's a lot of animal cruelty going on i know this, this got he- he- by the way animal cruelty. You know, they have consciousness <laughs> to a degree <laughs> well that's part of the question like no, so I was how good saying, of an enemy i'm not a member of PETA, but like i do think Animals are treated very cruelly in this world. Yeah, well, actually, they no are. actual They're ducks are harmed They're... in the making of this podcast. I just want to make that clear. But anything that's anything They're that's only manufactured yeah. essentially as a commodity, it's <laughs> right. like, of course, like it's a business. It's numbers and figures, right? I mean, but... there are people that would say plants have an amount or an essence of consciousness. Totally different kingdom, dude. Definitely. I don't care about them. Let's eat them. Definitely, <laughs> totally different. But I mean, I find that I find the self righteousness of of some vegans funny because it's like um animals were killed in the process of growing whatever food you're eating whether it's all plants or partly meat like um yeah but yeah, it could like, still be more, I mean, really more animals should, or less you, animals yeah it could be more or less but it's ne- it's never pure it's never perfect yeah, you don't right. want to really upset the dinos i got a question well there's a lot of things no, that's true. <laughs> you it's could a, do if you it's were like, like yeah, if, you, if you're driving around and you're spewing like all that toxic shit into the environment or what if you're just a shitty person and you're spewing around toxic energy and making this like world 
more miserable for everyone instead of like like just being right, so, cool. So just don't be a piece of shit, and if you want to be a vegetarian, that might be a good. That's idea. our utopia, Drew. There How do we go. combine technology with our vision of everyone's not a piece of shit? I don't know. I feel you got to define piece of shit. That's the problem. It's always There's the definitions that are the problem. It is. Yeah, it's hard to define. Right now. I think we're kind of going through this uh, growing, growing pain, pain yeah. for sure. Where yeah, the the generation above just got on Facebook, but like the generation but they're, above they're that, useless not really it. gonna get on Facebook. Like we gotta wait. I'm weaning off of it, really. I, yeah. You know, like. Well, I mean, I mean to say as more of a. A, a, a digital coming of age like some people are getting on board some people yeah. are like i'm too old for this other people are like i see what's happening i don't like it sure yeah. and there's gonna be a bunch of different uh, yeah it seems to be the people, people that a, always get on board it's gonna happen by default yeah yeah <laughs> that's what I, the default thing is what's scary because that means it's default implies like it just happened as opposed to like we yeah. authored it in a direction because yeah. we planned out I don't think we, we as a whole planet are coordinated enough to plan shit out. But that's why people We're are scared of AI. But that might, that might be part of the collective. But that might be part of the problem. One direction. And that's yeah. worked for the rate of change that we've dealt with. But the problem with AI is that let's say you just replaced the human brain and all its neurons and connections with hardware, a heart, a electrical circuit. I think it's something like twenty thousand times faster than a biological circuit which has to go through, like, the electrical signal, there's then the input, chemical so. signal. And, um, I mean, like, there's a model of neurons that can be done in computers. No, I meant, like, but... let's let's say 20 years from now they could just model a human brain perfectly. It would it would do, like, 10,000 years of thinking in, in a week or something, right? I don't, I don't, I don't know think, the exact number, no, but... but... I mean, like, I understand what you're saying is, like, if there was a unit of, let's say, computation... Or if, like, you could say, right now we measure machine thinking and computation, like some people say, like floating point operations, because those are hard mm -hmm. and useful. But what is the unit of thinking for humans, and how do you then kind of do, like, an A-B test of, like, you know, you both had this task of adding two numbers that were under a million, mm -hmm. right? Well, the computer's going to do it faster. And if you say under 10 million, under 100 million, like, the computer is still going to get better, even though it's going to take longer, or maybe not. I'm just saying, there are certain things that, because the way computers are built, they're just better at it, right? Mm. And certain things they're worse at. And a lot of things that they are worse at. Yeah. Mostly sort of this, again, metacognition space of, like, yeah. how do you plan around yeah. doing what it is? How do you... Yeah model the by the way world internally but it's one of those to... things too with enough time doesn't this shit all get figured out eventually like this is i i had a student last semester who tried, tried to write a paper on self-driving cars and she was like self-driving cars are ridiculous blah, blah blah i was like well what about maybe the technology is not there but I, I, and I, and that became her argument that it just wasn't ready in terms of like a lot of the other issues that come up with self-driving mm -hmm. cars and i was like all right fair enough if you look at where the technology is at maybe but I said, you know, you have to concede at a certain point. What about 20 years from now? What about 50 years? What about a thousand years? Yeah. Like, eventually, like, aren't all these things just inevitable if we can sort of imagine? Them Unless even? we kill they're ourselves. Sort of, sort yeah. Of a, um... yeah. Well, that's the alternative, right? <laughs> or one alternative. I think again, there is this theme of believing something's possible, yeah. and then it being possible because someone sure. thought that path out. They but, but some the of the space of possible but some, ways to get there. But that's there the thing. There's like all these thoughts something. and like some of them are possible and are definitely going to happen. We just don't know which ones. Uh, by the way, I would say 85% right? um, of the thoughts that happen in my metacognition world are ones I already know as I start them are impossible. They're just fun to kind yeah. of play through. It, like, I love throwing computer... But that's useful. Yeah. As, yeah. As, as, like, no, but you sort of learn something person. in the process. Because you will bias yourself if you... Yeah only think one but that's way. also what robots yeah. don't Duh. but yeah. that's what Definition robots do they it, right? think one way like isn't that part of the problem with ai right now well i think that they're too focused they're utilities yeah that's what i mean yeah they're too they're they're specialized they're tools they can't yeah. step back tools. Right. by and the way so you need someone who's at the tool using it and until you know they're really creating themselves by the way we've used this word a few times metacognition if anyone doesn't know that, it, it basic like I, I first encountered it not from like computers or anything, but from meditation. Yeah. And it's it basically comes up in rhetoric too, meta yeah. cognition, it's like, sure. It's like oh it, that's so meta. It's the space <laughs> of -E stepping back oh and my God, as a so meta. meditation. Oh no, not like that. Just making sure this is an audio form of expression. 
Um, That's fair. Think of it like, you know, Love instead that. of just being <laughs> lost in the thought of like, I'm going to do whatever, you step back and see the thought as an object in the space of your consciousness. You, you it's become... that ability to step back into a space that sees thoughts instead of is thoughts. Yeah, I, I think in, in a space, I think about it as like, there's a me in the audience and a me on stage. And the me on stage is the me I'm, I usually am. I'm, I'm a performer, you know. Do you mean but, like yeah. when you're, the you on stage is like when you're around other people? Yeah, I, I guess to say there's like the actor who's taking action. No, I know, action, I know what you're talking and about, And there's yeah. someone who's perceiving the action. And yeah. sometimes, uh, you know, my action is out loud, right. speech, action, like physical action. But the metacognition is when you have that theater in your mind yeah. and you are listening to yourself thinking very close to meditation, but I think a lot more. And you almost. It's what some people are calling like mindfulness sometimes too. Like, yeah. You know, of like That's being one way present. To think about it. Sure. I think it's great. Whatever you want to call it. This is like religion is so many ideas wrapped up in like cultural yes. places to put the ideas. Yeah. Like I think being able to inspect yourself, however you want to call it, is a great exercise <laughs> Yeah, uh, but and the, that's the, what's so funny about it is that religion gets people to that place yeah, of yeah. introspection. It's, it's like not my that's great, route, but 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 that's what I mean. Like I I know a lot of people who are very religious. It's not and, my and, route, but I understand that it's. I think religion's a vehicle that gets you to that place yeah. to see that like. And it's very. I'm not it's identical. Very similar, to me, it's a very like, similar place sometimes. Sometimes to what like I notice non-religious people are who are more into like. Or, or even just like non-denominational type stuff, like meditation or spirituality, yeah. like non-attached yeah. type and of deal. Yeah, a lot so of these sort words of checking get... in with something other than self, or yeah, getting to right. understand yourself a little bit more. Like, which is fine. Again, like, multiple. Let's ways. say exploring that space of metacognition. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I get used to spending time there, so I do it more often, and it really helps with even like simple things in life. Like every yeah. time you get angry, you can see anger as an object instead of. Yeah. It's like a module that popped up in my mind. I feel mind. like that's, uh, especially on like a day-to-day functioning as a human basis, how useful is that? Like that's huge, yeah. right? Yeah, that's because a game changer. That, because that will drag you down and that will affect other shit yeah. that it shouldn't be affecting, ideally, so, right? Right, so to be able to step back and say like, oh, you know what? It's not just me trying to get some yeah. one thing done. I like have all of these different priorities. I need to make sure that I'm not like yeah. hurting one by doing another. And, and you ask... And I'm not alone in this world. Yeah, like, yeah. Everybody else has their own internal model. But you ask as to what's the benefit like if i'm angry about something that's probably pretty stupid anyways from like whatever other type of you know there perspective you want... sometimes. but that's what i mean you want to ask that right that's like why you... your brain holds on to it because it's yeah. like hey half the time i've gotten angry about something it helped you get better and exactly. figure out the world better but th- that's that's what you want to try to recognize but you right? can see it as a game where it's like okay my brain's well doing now you're this, a psycho at this but point. my brain might be wrong <laughs> no in other words like your brain's trying to protect you when you get angry or fearful or it's it's like you're your it gets a loopy. evolved brain trying yeah. to protect you. It gets loopy you. to talk about because it's a conversation that happens inside without speech. Now, so, yeah. yeah. So which, which in its essence is weird. Like, just on a certain level is kind of weird. I think about it as like the feral person. Right? It's like <laughs> the feral. Never... I like that phrase. Dude. I've never heard of that. The feral oh, so you're person. a pharaoh in your... No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, the like a feral child. Like yeah, somebody yeah, who know. grew up without any social norms. I, I like, like Foucault's like social constructs like they, these mm-hmm. things exist because we right. agreed that they exist right yeah and you know norms and stuff like that but right and, and, and though they you can see them as models of re, in reality like you can step yeah. back and see them as things that exist this is something that um the biologist eric weinstein calls like like you have the biology of our brains and bodies and whatever and then you have the culture, which is sort of the software running on that. So it's not just that, like, your mind is the software running on the brain. Like, mind is just a word. But, like, culture it's all just words. Culture Let's is, like, there. the protocol. It, it is all just words. You know? I mean, fair enough. It is all words. It's turtles all the way down. So, like, I am not great with words. I'm not great with speech. I think you're or... pretty good. Well, I'm, tr- I'm I understand on everything. Is, yeah, I mean, every noise you've made with your, your mouth, I've right. understood. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah. to say that I'm not a great communicator, I'm, like, working on this. But, but like, it's hard. Part of getting into tech for me was, like, removing myself from a lot of uh, what I would consider noise. Like, yeah. I see this whole communication problem, because I'm coming at it from, like, a solutionism sure, engineering yeah. perspective, right. is That's that there's fair. so much uncertainty in, like, my mental model 
now like teleporting to you via some like vibrations in the air right like yeah. i'm trying to make you have right. my mental model and i have your but you're talking model. about like audience awareness essentially and being able to perceive what somebody else's perspective right. is, not right? just doing the communicating yeah. but having the metacognition layer on top it's of funny it. you say that because that's basically what i teach in writing is is this idea of well if you're going to try to convince anybody of anything whether that's like a point of view or you know ideally i mean talk about like trying to function in society like people you want to be able to convince people to give you stuff whether that's like a job or mm -hmm. like a relationship like whatever that may be but in order to do that to do that you have to know what they want yeah and you have to be able to then be like oh i can help you help me you know what i mean like there's like reciprocity it's not to just it. reacting but you're also it's you're also teaching them proactive. joe you're teaching them to to realize when they're talking to somebody whether the mouth noises they're making are yes. connecting well that's that's the actual skill then yeah it is like oh are you able to actually make that as clear as you possibly can to them whatever that connection may actually be have so, you heard this, this quote is too true? scary for me like I, this was like <laughs> it's hard up, it's not easy being yeah like, hmm, this does not seem like a battle i'm going to be no this winning. is why like, this is why i teach this it's really hard to do yeah yeah and there's and so many avenues for not you'll often fail yeah, at sure. communicating yeah Sorry. Here, so here's a you, cool quote that you in particular. I, I, I forget where it's <laughs> no, from, but great. I wrote it down a while you're ago. You're me as a professor. <laughs> a it. plus for this podcast. Joe, you might know where this is <laughs> from too, uh. just by how it sounds. It's um, any model of communication is at the same time a model of translation, of a vertical or horizontal yeah. transfer of significance. Vertical and horizontal. No two yeah. historical epics, no two social classes, no two localities use words and syntax to signify exactly the same things to send That's identical signals of valuation and inference. Yeah. Neither do Even two yourself human beings. To yourself over time. Exactly. Transla that's another thing. So that's yeah. like the conversation I'm like, to yeah. keep under control. Yeah. Because I'm not, I'm not good at talking. Is how I tell my. It's like part of my identity branding for myself is just like focus on some other problems other than communication. But now I'm coming around to. Uh, well, and you know, I would argue that the process of doing that is part of what makes you better too. Like, well, that's the thing. If you can't talk to yourself about that, it. But it's that awareness. Like you need to be able to have that awareness, which is. It, that's a throwback to like what we were talking about earlier. Like if you're not able to kind of step back and recognize like, oh, that's something that, you know, I, because a lot of people, the other reaction is to just be like, everybody else doesn't know what they're doing. Nobody else knows what they're talking about. That's a lot of people. This is what I consider an anti-pattern, which is like, I guess also conventional wisdom where you're like, hmm, this is like a thought pattern mm -hmm. that is really successful at staying alive in my head. Yes. But right. seems to not work out actually. Yeah. Like, yeah. But you should recognize a problem, then, right, right? Right, right, Yeah. That's, like, the meta-meta of, yeah. like, seeing the patterns and yeah. then being like, this pattern. Yeah. yeah. But and that takes work to do. Yeah. That still takes work now, to do. Now, talk to people. Do you think everyone's capable of that? <laughs> well, that's step one, maybe. I mean, I've known you guys for a long time. I barely keep in touch. <laughs> but that's that's mostly probably also our fault. You can choose whatever word there you want to highlight. But This is the most in touch I've been able to keep with Johnny since we're doing a podcast every week. It's true. <laughs> well, that's kind of why we started. That's week, pretty much why we started. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Because we were like, oh, let's like still hang out with Johnny, and uh, here we are. But yeah, this this <laughs> podcast started by um, I, I came up passing Joe's house one day, and I had a microphone, <laughs> and we just... In a green box? talked yeah. it, it was in this very green box the yeah. same green there's, box there's a famous green box involved folks yeah Infamous. the microphone is on top of it actually yeah, so which is have, on top of an Edgar Allan Poe collection <laughs> we have a very ghetto setup but it, um, it was just a uh it was just a, a Skype hang and we're like a Skype hang yeah, like, yeah. Hey, let's Technology. post this shit am I right hey well, it's it bringing people really together well, part of why, also why you don't keep in touch it's not like oh I gotta write a letter to this person to like you know cause they're in another continent and I wanna make sure they're like alive and well or whatever like it's they're right there but you'd also be willing to wait months yeah well because of technology but that had weight to it like sending an actual letter like but, it but, literally has weight but Drew's right there I could call him anytime so I just yeah. don't cause I could just call him you have the him. ability yeah so it's one of those this weird why things where students, this is why you make students print out their papers because other professors I know will just edit on Google Docs. Mm -hmm. And the, I, I mean, for some of them, they have ways to make it work, I guess. But I just find in general, like, that doesn't work as well. Because if I say your papers do on Google Docs on a certain date, it, it's off in the cloud. Like, it's, it's not this real thing. But if I say, yeah, go print out a paper, 
do that work. Walk your two little legs. Walk it. At any point, like, somebody could come up to you, like, punch you in the face, take your paper, read it in the town square, and be like, hey, everybody laugh at this. You're not going to hand in as crappy of work, probably. Have you really like, found that, like, like generally so, people yeah. make better work when they have to physically give when it to you? When they have a physical so copy? Then, absolutely. So now, yeah, absolutely. let's say Definitely. 10 years from now, would it be useful for them to, like, print it out in VR? And not waste paper. That might be that might be the next step. Yeah, that it's might be like, where I we're have at ten years from now. I'm feeling yeah. it. The haptic yeah. actuators are on. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that might... so we're now we're talking haptic feedback, no, paper that, that printing good, in virtual reality. There's yeah, a whole list fair. of things like that: handing yeah. in a paper, building your own log cabin, like things that you should do that aren't economically practical. Like everybody should build a house just yeah. for the experience. It probably feels good, but grow some food. Yeah, grow yeah, something. Definitely like, grow some it's, food. It's not right? feasible for all seven billion people to grow their own food, really. Well, it, it no, should be feasible it, for you to should, locally find. Yeah a space to grow food or else why are people there well it's possible it should be possible <laughs> right. to do right yeah that's a good point like why are people there like anywhere else we go in the universe i would love to see you guys talk about agriculture or we should, oh, we should we'll, have we'll an agricultural we'll cover episode yeah. yeah just that's that's sure. a personal request that's yeah. fine yeah you're you are a uh you can uh, make whatever request you want would you come back for the fantastic. agriculture episode or are you into that do you know a bit about uh it? I don't think I I could talk as much about it. Wait, I, but you, you act like find... we know shit. Yeah, we're not fuck experts. We, d- we take a week yeah, to prepare. Yeah, we literally for these. know shit fuck about agriculture. <laughs> no, but you guys shit fuck talking about agriculture would be fun. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, well, I could you ask some good questions. I, I, I think the government like... invented the soybean to ruin the Carter family, but they're not going <laughs> to tell you that. What will they tell you instead, they Johnny? They make up their own, their own their mainstream media lies about everything. <laughs> everything. Um, I love when Johnny when Johnny has to think harder about what to say in conspiracy. Johnny, he, his accent starts fading. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because he has to go like back. His brain into can't handle mode. both yeah, things. The characters yeah. are treating. I'm, I'm not very <laughs> smart. That's why I haven't been chiming in too much. So I, these episodes are me like I am. I'm not the smart one. <laughs> I, I I feel like uh, this has been good stuff. How um, long have we are we? No, in? we're at perfect time. It's 1:40. So oh, beautiful. Yeah, um, yeah. that's any, cool. Any, any Joe or Johnny, do you have any other technology questions for Drew? Oh, yeah. Now would be the time. Have you seen the nanobots? No, the, not uh, nanobots, but the slaughter, the slaughter bots That's uh, a great video. Slider bots? Or is this slaughter bots. Slaughter bots. No. It's, What's a, a, slaughter it's, bot? a, it's a fake video where um, they're just giving this idea of smaller and smaller drones that... that um, That's already terrifying. Like artificial intelligence and hive mind thinking between these tiny little robot like well, they, slaughter they, bots. They like hive minds of all the buzzwords. Yeah, they study. Really but that, like that's like flocks a, and hives. But that's so like that's a cool. field of study now, like flocks and like hive Absolutely. minds and how that works because you're able to pro like program drones and shit to it's work also in that like, way. Uh, from a reliability standpoint, sure, yeah. distributed system. Res- resistance yeah. really. So you don't have to worry about a single say. point of failure. Yes, mm. and and it's. And every let's say <laughs> exactly, but that's every, what they're all about. They're about like, oh, if one dies off, the whole I mean, system will continue. But also right? the distribution of like Sorry, cognitive labor and yeah. physical labor. You can do. It's easier to like reproduce or make the units of a right. big swarm of yeah. things. Uh, well, when one fails, like the whole system knows that that's gone and restructure yeah. accordingly. That was the Rick and Morty episode, Million uh, Ant Man, where like he gets shot and he's like, "I lost 300 ants." And they're like, "Oh no, are you okay?" And he's like, "The queen is laying more ants. I am now <laughs> one million why, ants again." Why Musk wants right. to go to Mars it's like he's so fine. We have a second so there, there's a... in the hive. So if a meteor takes out this one, humanity keeps. And the whole point of going multi-planet. If you think about humanity it as a hive, yeah. It is an N plus one. Yeah. That's a security. I think underneath thing. underneath that push, like sure, yeah. the, the things that make its way to, like we were saying before, to the higher levels of consciousness come from lower level Moon pushes, bases, and one of those is shit. like survive no matter what, you know. Yeah, worst case scenario, survive. Moon base is definitely making survival better, and we're also yeah. wired to make and survival be better. Moon base would be sick. I don't know if it's better. For no, survival. I'm not saying if it will be better. It's we're pushing ourselves to there because we just feel yeah. like it. Yeah. We, if you can live on the moon, you could probably live in some other places. But if you can live on the moon, you could probably. It's live also on Mars. forward progress, and we're yeah. just wired to move forward. You know. I would go to the moon. That'd be pretty that, dope. That's gonna be such 
a to do. You know, like yeah, w- like all the rights. All the rights. Yeah. Well, I feel like that's part of the I reason like the why, like, moon. people... Do I have a right to not that's have what I mean. an infested full moon that's just, like, yeah. buy this? Like, well, that's, like, the same thing as people but who that's are, a like, problem. I love the view of the ocean. You can't put up, like, wind turbines. Like, it's going to ruin my view. It's That's like, well, crazy, because as soon as, like, the moon base starts, like, there's going to be a point in human history pretty soon where it's, like, yeah, you know, people used to look up, uh, up at the moon and, like, not see, like... You know, lights. Not see or a no, big McDonald's no, sign. No, but even, like, not, not see lights. Like, w- when the moon's, like, dark, like, when it's, like, oh, there's no moon, it's, like, an, what's the, uh, the opposite of New moon. New moon. New moon. Like, it used to be no moon sky, but always you, be you'll still see lights from, like, moon bases. Like, just in the sky, right? Because no, it will, there will always be, you'll be, like, oh, the moon's right there because we can see lights from moon yeah, bases. Yeah, because on like the... a city at night. Yeah, exactly. On the dark side of the moon will still be, like, people living if they live on the moon. But like, why would you want to go to the dark side, are, bro? No, no. In well, other no, words, you only ever see the, the one same side. side of the moon faces the aliens, like, yeah, it's but the it's moon dark half the month. That's what a new us, moon so we is, always right? Always look at the same side because they're on the other side. What was that? <laughs> what was the first part of that question? Hey, you slipped alien in there. <laughs> no, he slipped alien in the beginning. <laughs> so I want to throw out okay. one last idea about aliens and consciousness, and it's something I've I've heard um, Sam Harris say a lot because he's he's he has a TED talk about AI. Um, but he says like consciousness is the one thing in the universe that can't be an illusion. I disagree. Whatever it is, whether you're here as Joe, I'm whether you're on an alien hard drive, you are having an experience, and that is the definition of consciousness. Like that's the one axiom that can't be. An why illusion. does he get to de- decide what the definition of consciousness is? I mean, so like neuroscientists meet yearly and try to come up with the Ooh, best. name me one. <laughs> Heather Berlin. Name me two. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, but th- the best definition they have for consciousness essentially is what it is like to be you. And so if there's an experience there, it exists in some way. That is a very understandable way to get at consciousness. It's like, what is consciousness? You, you are. Like, yeah, and that's well, I mean, that's like, just so, because there's yeah. so much missing data. That's the best definition we right. can have exactly, right now. Exactly, exactly. There's so much data around what we're trying to do with computers. And it's all just like trying to put this like round like piece in a square hole or whatever the thing yeah. is. Like it, Maybe yeah. they're not uh, congruent, you know? The stuff just doesn't line up. Probably well, doesn't. that would be that maybe the universe doesn't make sense, right? Do you believe I mean, maybe there's magic involved, after all. Have you read Flatland, I don't know. Drew? No. i got to give you Flatland. <laughs> I think oh, I have Flatland, yeah, yeah. I read Flatland. Oh, fantastic. I thought you said, like, Flagland or something. You know, Yanka read Flatland in Turkish. That's insane. Yeah. That's it's awesome. hard in English. I, could not do that. I tried and it doesn't no. To read it in Turkish? <laughs> yeah. I can barely read it in English. <laughs> yeah, I can barely read it in English. Jesus. Uh, that's a perfect book of like imagining in your mind yes. what it looks like. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And it's really good. And it's talking about <laughs> Well, like if you try to well, imagine four spatial dimensions, it's yeah. like, what? How do I do well, that? Have you, like, read, you can understand have you read a sphere, sphere like? intersecting a plane, so yeah. Right. You can imagine the, One but level the, up. The, the point of that book is you can imagine how the reason why I can't imagine the fourth dimension, basically. Induction. Yeah. You're like, it's you're crazy. trying to induce the well, experience yeah. by, like, saying... And you're like, oh, of course dimension? they don't understand for it, yeah. For three dimensions? Okay, and yeah. then some more. Flyland, right. for the record, uh, listeners, is a book about a, a, a two-dimensional... I think he's a square who lives in a two-dimensional world and... Right and and the, the, yeah the different space shapes. being length width and height and so this is a world without any height it's just length and width yeah there's yeah, you no think height. about it as a whole world happening on a piece of paper right, right. exactly and we see the piece of paper as a piece of paper but they're on the piece of paper and they only see they're in the piece, as if piece you were paper. lifting the piece of paper yeah. level with your eyes right well, well height sort of becomes like brightness. And, and darkness yeah as they you, see a band as, of light or yeah something. as you move closer like things just get brighter like right. there's no up or down so the model of this is like if you draw a square on a piece of paper and then draw a little person in that square in 2d world that person is in prison yeah but right. in 3d world they just walk right over the line right, right? but that's magic to them now take a three-dimensional right. person like me and put me into a jail cell i'm in three-dimensional prison but if right. i could step out into the fourth dimension and just get right out of the prison it would be like the same idea. But 3D U is like, wait, but where is that? Yeah, how do I do that? <laughs> yeah. And it's like, I've tried every corner. 
you know, yeah. like I I tried doing the Shawshank Redemption tunnel dig and I got nowhere. Like, yeah, oh, that was fucked up. That movie where he had to crawl through all the shit. That's a great get, movie to get out. And What's Luke, you were spoiler? making a really good, interesting <laughs> yeah, point. Yeah, and then you came out in the nineties. Simultaneously, like, if you haven't... spoil another movie and talk about shit. That was amazing. That was spoiler. incredible. <laughs> Even for you, that's great. <laughs> Back to poop theory, yeah. It, it did come full poop circle. Uh, so, Drew, anything else you want to hit technology-wise? Uh, I mean, I think... Or anything I was wise? trying to stay on message. I wrote some, some notes. But That's basically, fine. like, I, I think technology is pretty cool. I think it's dangerous. Like, What can people tool. do to, like... Um, yeah, what should we do? Yeah, with not be so ignorant. Like, <laughs> I'm serious. Just, like... Yeah, no, I agree. That's, that's a great place to start. Think of yeah. more yeah, more inputs. webs of yeah. interconnected <laughs> sure. concepts, and then you'll learn patterns of webs. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. And and keep digging deeper, right? Like, figure, well, figure shit okay. out. But know Something how deep to dig. Something I didn't get to talk too much about, but we did mention was abstraction. I think mm-hmm. being able to know when it's okay not to understand mm-hmm. is a very important... Label something as an yeah. unknown put it in and a put box it aside. And say, I know how things what's see the, the box, box from the outside world. I do not know what's inside yeah. of the box. Or like, maybe these... Bo- <laughs> Just tell me. Is it a dead cat or a live cat? Yeah. What's in the box? Don't say the movie, Luke. <laughs> yeah, let's not say what's in the box. I love how he tried Wait, you know to guess. Movie that's like, is this another movie I can remember? <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure, whatever. Yeah, that's a good guess. That's actually a good guess, though. Yeah. It's wrong, but it's a good guess. Fair enough. We can't say it, though, because it's a spoiler. I saw Pulp Fiction for the first time at it's your house, number. Johnny. It's not pie. It's not pie. Um, <laughs> definitely not pie. There's a movie called Pie. Though. So, yeah, I, I think I, I, I know what you mean. Like, the ability to, um, one, even say I don't know about something is, like, a skill, right? right. And then to place that somewhere in this metacognition yeah. world of your mind and say, this is something I might have to act upon tomorrow but I'll act upon yeah. it cautiously because I don't un- fully understand it yet. Yeah, it, it's there's it seems like magic, but it's knowable. You need to understand which part of the spell you can cast mm. right now. Get some mastery. Well, like my iPhone, like, I know how to wield that magic. Yeah, stuff you're familiar but with. But I don't know feels... how the electrons work on the okay. circuitry. You know, like the stuff that we don't know about feels like scary. Sometimes. Do you want that book, Connecticut Yankee and King Arthur's Court? It's like right behind you. I can give it to you before you go. Sure. It's really good. I think you'll enjoy it. I, I, I'm, that's your I'm gift for me. I'm trying to finish some Philip K. Dick right now. But that's yeah. that's more than fair. <laughs> I totally dig dig the PKD. I'm so, all on board. So in general, would you say you're on? You know, let's set a sliding scale of like being extremely worried about AI to being like it'll be fine. We'll put it in a box and it can't escape. Like, where are you on that spectrum? I'm like worried if we'll get to the point where we have to worry about that problem which is probably a good point to be because let's let's focus on how we survive yeah. until this then, is one right? of those i don't need to know that right now i think we have enough that's people fine to your, put somebody on that case in your right? mind world yeah. you're like all right we got to get through the trump presidency yeah. first that's like, <laughs> what that is the yeah. undercurrent right yeah, now. isn't it funny that when when the local environment that you're in suddenly becomes so um important and yeah. and, and immediate like for example, I'm worried about like where my career is going. I'm worried about all these things. Where am I going to move? This and that. And then, you know, your wife falls and you know breaks her leg, and you're on your way to the ER. It's like none of that is important. Yeah. You have a very local mission to take care of. And that's when your lower brain kicks in too, and you're like, throw away all of this extra thought. Right. Yeah. yeah. You now have Shift hormones gears, yeah. pumping through you yeah. to make sure you're going to call on all the resources yep. that you have at your fingertips. Yeah. Yeah. And then even longer term, like if somebody, you know, close to you or something is dying, like that becomes the main thing. And then like, then you can, like, you always have these horizons of knowns and unknowns and you play with them in that. I think people play with them in that metacognition space, but it's only metacognition when you become aware that that's what you're doing. It's the awareness. Yeah, you can definitely, you know, be thinking and acting and be aware of your thinking, but to you can just start to use the words thoughts and yeah. self. Like again, you're putting yourself in that mental model. You're using language and you're yeah. pulling it out of this sort of uh, visceral thought space where it doesn't actually bubble up over the surface of like words. And it's more detached. It's not. It's not like yeah. ingrained it's, in your body. You don't feel the anger when you consider a scenario. You just like consider sometimes. if that would be a problem. I think this is what teachers should teach kids more in school like less about memorizing some like dates about a history thing yeah. and more about like yeah, hey how do you think for like, sure yeah how do you like even just rhetoric itself yeah. like how do you 
Well, that was like that Facebook post argument. I posted the other day where it was like, I the prompt was, the writing prompt at the beginning of class was, write about uh, an argument that you've had where you knew that you were right, but write about it from the perspective of the person you were arguing with. That's a good exercise. And the question the student had, like immediately raised his hand and was like, he goes, and I, I said, you can be imaginative, you can be creative, you can be formal, like technical, like however you have to do to get to that perspective. And the student just raises his hand and goes, how, how can I do that? And I kind of looked around and I was like... At the same time, though, like, fair enough, right? Like, no, maybe he doesn't know. No, he he really, like, he yeah, was flabbergasted, flabbergasted. But a lot of students, like, that's not a, a, a rare reaction. That's, like, a lot of students have never been asked to do that. And I, How I sad just, is that? It's I don't a, it's think a, it's super it, sad. I it's think a, it's, but it's an issue. Education. But I do that. I do that. Maybe it needs to be pushed further back. Like, no, I, no, no, that's I, what I mean. Like, like the fact that like these are like freshmen and sophomores in college right. is a problem. That's a young age. You should you have know? the the basics of that. Like he's never like, been at asked four that years question. old. Yeah. In other words, you know that you're negotiating the space of reality with other creatures. Yeah. Education is also trying to deal with all the new technology. Well, for sure. Yeah. Uh, and it costs a lot of money for institutions that size to mm-hmm. try to get updated. And then by the time they're finished, they're already outdated. Yeah, they're outdated, yeah. yeah. They have computer and powers. And then they're like, oh, so we spent so much money. Let's off. just keep Windows 98. Yeah. <laughs> right. It works. <laughs> so uh, so we started out with about technology, and we, we, we got to a lot more about the mind. Which is which fine. I, that happens. I appreciate that. that I mean, I watched did. Black Mirror too recently. <laughs> they also had a Black Mirror about nanobot things. Not nanobots, sorry. Um, like, um, Nanobots. Robot bees. Yeah, yeah. Um, swarm. The, the, the swarm idea. Mm-hmm. I'll link this um, slaughter bot video in the episode links. It's like, it's just a little thought experiment. It's, it's started by these guys. Elon Musk, I think, is one of them who's just like, hey, let's Are keep an eye. AI Institute? It might be that. Um, I think that's what it's called. I hope I'm not flubbing that. I forget which. Yeah, it does. I didn't write it down. But it's it's we'll just people. It. There it's are people that are very concerned we'll about artificial yeah, intelligence. It's not a problem. And uh, I, the main goal is like, will will the goal of the computer when it comes online, so to speak, by online I mean becomes conscious yeah, in any way, um, w- will it have an alignment with our goals? The example they give is like a paperclip maker. Yeah. Like a computer who's you set yeah, of the parameter this, to be like the most optimized paperclip maker. And this gets back to like the internal model of the machine versus like you. Right. And you need to make sure to be explicit about, by the way, while you're making paperclips, humans are do not, not yeah, ink for your printer. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> for your 3D printer. Yeah. Humans are not atom ink, like, Remember, you know, don't material. destroy the universe while trying to make paperclips or something. And, and, um, and for that, yeah. It, so technology is not magic. Uh, I magic guess. Is magic. I guess I'll. Drew's advice is uh, Wikipedia, which is like that's, that's really a great reasonable. place to start. That's a great Read starting and place. Write. Honestly, the world you're for in. everything I do, Wikipedia is my starting point. Yeah. Because my model is like you were saying. So I want to. I want to start, start writing their papers. At got, like first principle. Wikipedia. Don't cite it, but find more information based I mean, on. But I not talk even that. About Wikipedia for another five minutes. It's an inspiration. Okay, like. It's fine. Yeah. People who are non-experts are pulling together information in a community that Good. is basically just around single topics. Yeah, yeah. And that's there are fine. some people who are at like the top of this, like not the top, but get so much experience that they get the meta cognition of like editing <laughs> encyclopedia. I use is... Wikipedia an insane amount and it's, it fills the role of this first principle idea for me, which, which is like, so I did this independent like box study thing and <laughs> It before I started, like I couldn't go down any rabbit hole you before drank a lot I just like wikiing box. Well, I just started on like box Wikipedia page, and I was like, "This is I need to start from somewhere, and then um, and I'm somewhere. feeding it, like things holes. down and rabbit yeah, holes a fun down." Fun game if you want to see how totally categorized and hierarchical the Wikipedia index is. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, go to any page. You can do this with a friend and see who wins. Are you wins. about to say... Okay, got it. You click the first blue... The first link... Of every Of every page. And you end up at some... Of, like, maybe there's 10 articles that everything ends up at or something. Like, like. it always dumps down you know, at 10. Yeah, there's a funnel. Within how many clicks. 
I well, isn't that the thing you wind up on Hitler, like, eventually? Like, mm. is, is, that not is, that the, is that the Kevin Bacon thing? <laughs> um, That's fair. So yeah, Wiki- it's, Wikipedia, it's how your technology yeah, works. Surf, it. surf, dude. Or just how anything. I think just, like, every day try to connect more dots and, like, learn more patterns. And I know it's all, yeah. uh, it's too much. You'll never learn it all, so don't don't worry if it feels like it's over. And uh, Johnny, we'll hit you up before we uh, get to the... Uh... That was weak. I uh, kind of laid back this one, but... Uh... Yeah, that was obvious. That was very weak, Luke. I just gave you that one. All right. Later, guys. Thank you, Joe. Jesus yes. fucking Christ. No, I was, I was, were you taking so It was long? like I had my much... hand on the trigger. I was uh, trying to see like how long I could wait before hanging up on it. Is that a, a prank? Oh, this oh, is a whole thing. Every oh, we episode, need to explain this to Every trip. episode ends where it's like, an epic we try channel, and... yeah. Last episode, um, we were doing Johnny this... got us bad last episode. We were doing episode. this Turkish episode, and yeah. he, he was like, hey, before we end, I lucked up this really cool thing about Janissaries. Yeah, And we were like, Turkey. oh, nice, and we got super focused, and he, and he starts, was just like... like he so in the year 15, sentence. and he just like hit hang up. <laughs> and we were like, that son so of a genie So it's this game bitch. going back and forth, but whoever wins, like hits hang up, we get the last spot on the podcast. Right. So right when we hit hang up, uh, you, the listener, would have heard Johnny going like, "Oh fuck, yeah. those fuckers got me," you yeah. know, like yeah, that kind of fuck thing. Fuck those guys. And now yeah. we get the last word to just yeah. rip on Johnny. <clears throat> That's what I have to the say. The fucking genie. Good rip. Yeah, good rip. Um, I, I love Johnny. He's amazing at chess. <laughs> not ripping into him. We can call him back after. Like, it's uh, yeah, yeah, that's usually that. how that happens. Yeah, by we, the way. we settle peace after because otherwise it would somewhere. be a little too <laughs> yeah. violent. But. Um, thanks, thanks for having me. I have to say. Thanks for coming. Yeah, this, thanks this for coming great. on. Yeah. I'm sure really you'll fun. be on more because like yeah, we'll we'll definitely have you back. Yeah, come and um, Yanka, sure. Yanka like. will watch Louie anytime All you have comments. to bring Louie out here. Oh yeah, I'll bring. She she almost wanted to come hang out just when she heard you were around because she heard Louie might be around. No offense that. to you. I mean, you get a dog for these reasons. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks for listening. Um, like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, Joe, you're better at I that. I did. You can too. <laughs> yeah. He like, did. Like, you share, and subscribe. Too. Yeah. Um, oh, anyways, we'll get into that in a second. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Peace. Later. <laughs> Wrong one. <laughs>